think so. Hey, guys.
Kevin Madeline on the Free Drive, and we now have the plan for the school song. First, will be the Art Tiger. Father, thank you for the opportunity we get to play this game. And I would like to ask you to put your hand upon the kid that went that went with the ambulance in last night's game in ours, and let him know I did not do that intentionally. And I ask for safe travels home for ours and protection upon these players, the cheerleaders, and the band, and every other student involved tonight. And I ask for you to give strength for the people battling cancer and their families as they face that horrible sickness. We love you and we praise you. Go Indians. Amen.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grand Saline, Texas, for this big 3A Division II Region 3 District 9 contest. We're going to take it down to the field for our national anthem. We'll be right back here on Net Us In. Again, I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's broadcast. My name is Brett Swinney. Alongside of me here in just a moment will be Vincent Johnson on, on the call tonight. And, uh, man, it's going to be a good one here in a big battle of this District 9. Right now you've got Troop and West Rusk at the top at 1-0. Um, you've got Arp and Grand Sling here tonight, both at 1-1, one one, looking, fighting for that playoff spot. You also have Edgewood and Winona at 1-1. One one. So four teams, two games in, all tied. A big one here for Arp on the road, and, and Grand Sling wants to hold their own here at home. So it's a big one here. We're going to go out for the coin toss at midfield. Gonna bring in my man right off the bus. I mean, his 
truck, Vincent Johnson. Vince, what's up, man? How's it going? I'm here. We got some. We got some exciting 3A Division II football tonight, man. Yeah, we do. It's a big matchup in this district. We talked about it just a while ago. You've got Edgewood and Art, Grand Selena, Winona, all at one and one, trailing kind of the the front runners as of right now, West Rusk and Troop. So. You, you don't what's the what's the saying beat the teams you're supposed to beat yeah and both of these teams are supposed to beat each other here so only one can win tonight only one only one you're absolutely right about that so this is going to be a uh, slugfest i think so i did the coin toss looks like uh grand saline looks like they're going to uh gonna receive i believe here as we get started here on that is saying like to welcome everybody in uh arp and grand Celine fans alike uh to the broadcast um we do something on netison that we like to we like to know who you're watching and where you're watching from so tonight make sure you uh involve yourself in our chat we have going on let us know um, where you're watching and who you're watching for tonight uh yeah do you have any kids out there is it is there a grandson out here playing, uh, a son? We want to see also who's watching from the furthest away. Absolutely. So I want to see if you're you – know, we've had some from all, 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 all over the U.S. We've had some out of out of states yeah. this year. So let us know where you're watching. Now, Brett, we did – last time we did this, we had some Mexico and some other spots. I don't know if we're going to get a Mexico tonight. Hey, but we'll if see. you are watching from Mexico, please shout out. Yes, sir. All right, we got Ty Barsley set to kick off. For the Arp Tigers here. Back deep for Grand Saline. That's number three, Colton Prox. It's going to be a little short squib kick. It's picked up by number one, Peyton Butterfield. And he's going to be taken down around the 25 yard line. So yeah. Grand Saline will take over first and 10. So we've we've talked about uh, both of these teams on our weekly show a lot, Vince. Yeah, we do. But it's good to see them in person here. I'm a, I'm anxious to see how these teams come off last week. Last week, Grand Saline stopped on a two point conversion. I heard it was questionable. It was very close to lose at Edgewood, and Arp coming off a big win over Winona at home, and so kind of coming off two different games. You've yeah, got coming off a loss and a win. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A close loss at that. Oh, wait. We're going to – are we re-kicking here? Uh-oh. Because I didn't see a – I didn't see a flag. It looks like we're going to be re-teeing it up. Okay. So, Bardsley will tee it up again. Looks like maybe they're going to put it this time at the 35. So, maybe Arp was off sides. I didn't see anything I didn't either. personally. But uh, I didn't, like you said, I didn't see a flag or anything. So, But this is a big one early in the season. You've got, you've got uh, Arp's got Troop next week, so that's a big rivalry game. So you want to come into that game with some momentum. I mean, for Grand Saline coming off a loss, you don't want to get on a, on a slump here no. early in district no, play. Put yourself you kinda, in a hole. You kind of want to get that back. I mean, losing like that, you know, on a two-point conversion, it, it, it's hard to go to bed at night. Yeah, that's tough. So it'll be re-teed up as Barsley will kick it off. And another little short kick is going to land around the 40. It's going to be picked up by Grand Saline. I think that's number eight, Ethan Isabel. And that's going to be a big difference on field position there early, Vince. That's a big penalty right there. Yeah, it is. It's a 15 really yard big. penalty, only yeah. a five yard penalty, but it was 15 yards of field position. Mm -hmm. So Grand Saline is going to start first and 10. Ball's going to be spotted at the 41 yard line of Grand Saline. Okay. So here we go. Grand Celine in the gun. Back right. to pass. That's going to be number five. Income. Oh, looks like it may have been batted. Yeah, Jet Taylor is the QB for Grand Celine. The sophomore. And I think number 15, Bryant Lane, may have got a little piece of that one. Yeah. 
It definitely didn't come off right. It looked, mm -mm. It looked like he uh, definitely had some interference on that pass. So bring up second down and 10. And in motion uh -oh. here, it's going to be a hand. No, he oh, keeps. keeps. He pulls the pulls it out oh. from under. Ball's loose. Oh. Oh. And they're going to say he's down. Yeah, they, yeah. I think he was. Nice run there by Taylor. He, he pulled it late there, Vince. He did. But that's a, I mean, that's how you got to read it sometimes. You got to read you gotta, it. You got you to leave it in there until you see it. You it's so, only, though, sometimes it can be tough if you pull it and the other guy's yeah. not ready to let yeah. go of it you're so right, they did a good job you there, know though. it's kind of like baking a cake you can't pull it too early you know too yeah. late yeah that's uh butterfield in the backfield with him there let's see if they go with so, that again so let's third see. and one oh, he's gonna hand it to him yep. butterfield and stopped <laughs> oh. in the backfield vince looks like that's number nine uh number nine uh charlie fitzpatrick that's uh, Cornelius Pierce, number nine for ARP there, Vince. Oh, I'm looking at Grant Celine. I am so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Still trying to get it together. I talked to. I will say I talked to Schmick earlier. I did. I did tell him you you've been picking him? against him on our on oh, our don't show. Tell him that. Don't tell I him. I told that. him that uh, we've been calling him during the show. I did tell him he was famous, <laughs> and he said that they they've got a, an option play. That Grant Celine has an option, so Coach Schmicky uh -huh. is looking for that to uh, kind of st stall that out tonight. It looks like they're going to line up in just a little quick kick there Okay. for Taylor. And that's a good kick. It's going to roll all the way down inside the Ooh. five. It's still rolling. Ooh. Ooh, right My goodness. Line. I don't know if you could have got it any closer to the goal line, Vince. <sighs> Man. That's Mark, a great they, punt. They're going to have their hands full on this. You never want to start from there. So first and ten ball on the, I, you're going to call it one, but on one, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. it's as close to the goal line it as you can get. It might as well be at the one, yeah. <laughs> So Arp's going to come out with four-year starter at quarterback, Frank Smith. Frank does a little bit of everything. Vince, tell me uh, what he did last week. Let me see here. Frank Smith was five for seven uh, for 70 yards and had two touchdowns, actually. Uh, his longest one was a 25-yarder. You know, this guy right here, his average is, his percentage is 71%. That's pretty good for a high school quarterback. Handoff. I believe that's going to go to number five. Deshaun really Reed. Too far. Right now, you just got to get out of you got to yeah. get out of the, the, the end zone. <laughs> Literally, they're snapping the ball practically in the end. Yeah, they got one yard on there on that carry by Reed. I, I will say that Arps had some injuries problems at running back. Uh, they're getting their man Yarbrough back in the mix. He played a little last week. Yeah. If you notice by the yards, he didn't get a lot of carries. Uh, they moved Reed from wide receiver uh, to tailback to kind of beefing up the running back uh, room there. Actually, uh, which turned out to be pretty good. I be mean, keeper for Smith. Looking at his numbers from last week alone, 15 attempts with 112 yards. Yeah. Two touchdowns. Not bad for a first time running back. I know. He might be an athlete. So Smith got the carry. He got up to about the five. So that's going to bring up a third down and about six. They got to get out of that hole. I, I don't know. They hadn't moved the marker up. I'm not sure. Still debating on the place. Yeah. Placement. It looked like he was around the five yard line from here. This is on the opposite end of the field, but. Here we got uh, Josh Ward watching from Athens, Texas. Let's go, Tigers. Watching Kristen Ward. Uh, Christian Ward. Hey, that's, that's Josh Ward from it's Chapel so, Hill. The first thing I thought was, like, he I said, know Josh Ward. Is that him? He got us on the big screen. Thanks, Brett and Vince. Hey, Josh, what's up, buddy? We got uh, Jim Clapp, Go Arp, Rifle, Colorado. All right, Colorado. Colorado. All right. Hand off. Oh, Smith keeps it. He faked oh, us out. He's broke the tackle. And here he goes. Crosses the 30, Ooh. the 40. Fakes a man out at the 50, and he's going to be taken out of bounds. Man. What a run by Frank Smith. Vince, let's catch that on the on the replay here. I, I didn't see it him break out. Either. So he, he, he faked me out there. And once he broke through the first couple defenders, it yeah, was I a think foot he race. Just lost. They didn't know where he, they didn't know where he was. They didn't know where the ball was. And then at that point he just it was a foot race. And he just got pushed out of bounds and what now, a run by Smith. To, uh, to Butterfield for saving a touchdown. Yeah, that was a good play. You don't want to give up on the play right there. So first yeah. and ten, Smith throws it over here to the near side. Oh, Ooh, dropped. dropped. Oh, mm, that's dropped mm. by Wade. 
Got to have those. That was an easy one. He was thinking he was thinking end zone. Mm. He may not have made it there, but that's what he was thinking. But, man, that's one way to get yourself out of a hole real quick on breaking off a run like that. Now oh, we yeah. see why – why uh, Frank Smith is so important to this offense? He he's able to he's a dual threat QB. Absolutely. So Smith in the gun here on second down and ten. There he goes again. And he keeps it, doesn't pitch it, and he's going to pick up about seven more yards there on second down. So it's going to bring up a third down and about three. Now, Brett, earlier I gave you your uh, some stats about uh, Frank Smith as a uh, passer, but. Tell us what he, did, tell he did, what this, what he did for rushing. <laughs> Nine yeah. rushes for 129 yards. Man. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Three so, touchdowns. So every time he touches it, every one out of three is a touchdown. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's like, uh, what, 33%? Yeah. <laughs> so third down and about market a long three here for Arp. And we're going to get a timeout. Coach me, he didn't like what he saw. So we're going to take a timeout with him. With 8.02 left here in the first quarter of play, we got a tie, tie game. Arps driving right here on NetSN. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. Back here on NetSN for a big third down and four for the Arp Tigers. Smith in the gun. He gives it off up the middle, and it's going to be close. I believe that's going to be carried by number five again, Reed. And I think they're going to give him the first, Vince. I think he got it. So first and ten for Tiger, the Arp Tigers there. Okay. Now, if you're Grand Saline here, you, you had him pinned, and now you switch the field. So yeah. it's bend yeah. and not break here. You've got to you've got to keep them keep them under control. Besides the one play, right now they've been they've been okay. Yeah, they, they haven't given up too much since that. You know, out you take away that one play. So I think they're still cool under pressure right now. So here we go, first and ten. Looks like they did a little handoff. That's Reed again. Over. He's trying to find oh. a space, and oh, then we've got a flag. Is it going to be holding, Vince? Usually when we're out here, it looks kind of like it was. But when a play goes on that long, holding is out there somewhere. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because he kind of there was nowhere for Reed to go. He was kind of just caught in the middle there. We'll see what they call here. Oh. It is going to be holding on Arp. And it's going to back them up 10 yards of the other direction. So it's going to put them in a tough spot. So it's so first and 20. Not where ARP wants to be as they're a predominantly running team. Yeah. We'll see if what they do here on a first and long. It's a man in motion. Smith okay. rolls to his right. Bootleg. Ooh. Oh, oh another Ooh, drop. Another Wade's having a Wade. tough start. As Marcus Wade had it in his hands. I and don't know where his head's at right now, Brett. He's he's got to get that sorted out because that's two that's really two catchable drop. balls. Two, I mean, yeah, I mean right in the hands in the bread basket. So, and that's that they picked up half of the yardage they needed right there too. So. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the good news about that is it's, that's easy to fix. That's yeah. a you problem, you know. Yeah, just catch it's it. It's a mental thing, you know. So, that's fixable. So, here we go. Now, second down and ten. Still Reed in the backfield. 
with Smith. All Smith right. rolls again to his right. Steps oh, up in the pocket, throws it long. He's got a man up and oh! oh! Another one in and out of the hands of wow. Zane Bork. Oh, he's going to want that one back. That was oh. six written all over it, man. My Mance. stomach just flip-flopped right then. <sighs> mm. Oh, my. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, that didn't taste good. Man, mm -mm. <laughs> he, uh, it, when, when Frank Smith goes in the film room, he's not going to be happy with his receiver. He's not going to be happy. Uh, I mean, that was – for a, a throw like that, he, he put it in a basket I mean, for him. he did. He dropped it in. Woo, that was dropping dimes like you yeah. – like in basketball almost. <laughs> he, he, he laid it perfectly. So, here we go. Third down and 20. Smith again. Looking for somebody to catch it. And he does. All right. Caught. Oh. Big and the ball came loose. Wait. I want to see that again. Yeah, can we get a replay on that? Let's let's see that because that ball came loose. Um, it was, the pass was complete to Cornelius Pierce, number nine. I want to see what happens here because that was so he throws it, he catches it, and he he fumbled it, I guess, and his own man picks it up. Wow! Wow! Thought I'd seen it all, Vince. So it got the first down after all that. They got, they got what they needed. Woo. So first and ten. I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to the run. Ball at the 16. Oh, oh and no. it, oh, it looks Ooh. like maybe he has some movement early. And they had a man in the end zone wide open. They did. Oh. He, he, um, I think he put a, just a tad bit too much on them. Yeah. Well, the play was already over, so you, you don't know if he, he oh, might have. Yeah, the receiver could have gave up on the route. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a big penalty there. It's going to back. Mm. Looks like Grand Saline's going to take a timeout this time. We'll take it with him. With 6.39 left here in the first. Still 0-0 here in Grand Saline on NetSN. Big Mike's Billiards, proud sponsor of NetSN. With 25 years experience in the pool table moving and service industry, Big Mike strives to ensure complete satisfaction. The quality and care he and his team put into every move and every service call is the highest standard of service in the industry. Big Mike sells and services some of the best pool tables available today. He is an expert at caring for and moving any type of billiard table, whether it is across the room or across the country. At Big Mike's Billiards, no pool table repair job is too big or too small. Whether your table needs new cushions, felt or to be professionally aligned and level back here on that sn first down and 15 ball at the 22 yard line smith keeps it himself and he's going to pick up about what they lost there on that penalty so it's going to put it back at now second down and 10. Smith does it all for our period. He's he's a uh, multi multi talented. Yeah, he is. And you got he is a four year starter. It sounds familiar, like someone else we covered. Started since a freshman. <laughs> since a freshman, he runs yeah. and he throws. Just yeah, a different he does everything. Yeah. Yeah, on a different level, but still very solid at the quarterback position. Not that far away from each other. No. In terms of location, where they. So second down and make it eleven. Smith. Pitches it uh -oh. outside. Nice catch by Bork and a nice tackle outside. It's been a while since I've seen some option like that. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that. You know, that was kind of hot back in the day. Yeah. Everybody was kind of had a some type of off option. Uh, so, offense. So Bork with a uh, pitch there on that one. So it's going to bring up a third down and eight. Ball spotted. Looks like, what, about the 14-yard line, Vince? Um Man, they, that play they had on first down that 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 they didn't get yeah, to run they, they, right they, here. That would be that would be perfect right here. They might go back to it. Let's see. So here we go. Smith, handoff to Reed, and that's no not way. going anywhere. He lost a yard there. Nice job on defense there for Grant Saline. Who was in on that tackle there, Vince? I believe that was uh, number. Was that 
Is that 15? Um, we're going to call it 15. Rodriguez? Right? Yeah, that's uh, Gavin Rodriguez. So here we go. Field goal attempt for Ty Barsley from see 20, 32 yards. Here we go. Kick is up. It's low, but it looks like it's good. Ty Barsley with a three-point field goal. And Art is on the board. On the board. So with 4.33 left here in the first quarter play, Art takes the first lead of the night. 3 nothing right here on Netizen. Don't go anywhere. Texas Ox Home and Construction. Local builder in the Bullard, Flint, White House, Chapel Hill area. Building custom homes, specialized homes, and investment properties. Feel free to reach out and get started today at 903-216-8655 or send them an email at texoxhomes at gmail.com. Back here in Grand Saline, Texas, as we have a good one here in this first quarter. Vince, it's uh, three nothing. So yeah. good football so far. Good football. I'm I'm real anxious to see what Grand Saline is gonna come out with, um, how they answer. So Barsley's back to kick. You got Butterfield and Prox back deep for Grand Saline. Butterfield has some wheat and some wheels on him. That's for sure. A little pooch kick. They're not going to kick to them. I don't They're think they want to. Kick it short and taken by number. Is that number nine, I believe, for yeah. Grand Saline? That That's is okay. Charlie Fitzpatrick. Down at the 37. Yep. First and 10, ball at the 37. And we'll see what Jet Taylor comes out here on offense for Coach Drennan's. Grand Saline Indians. Again, it's uh, going to stay with Taylor and Butterfield in the backfield. Taylor, handoff to Butterfield, Hand and it's got a little room outside, but nice, nice job cutting off the end there by a few Tigers. You know, with a name like Jet, you got to be cold. You, you got to be, be fast, good. right? You got to be good. You got to right? be like fast like a to, Jet. You don't get to be named Jet, and you just. You know, nah, you, you got to be something. <laughs> so here we go. It's going to bring up a second down at about four yards. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we got five wides. Five wides. Wow. He's about to show us. Let's we'll see what we right got. Here. Taylor. Oh. Quarterback keeper, and Arp was ready for it. Man, wow. no gain on that one. And uh, Bryant Lane, number 15, brought him down. Ooh. I think they scouted that one. Yeah, he read that perfectly. I think they saw that in some film. Yeah. Coach told him, it's, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Get ready, it's coming. And that's good, too, because, I mean, when you fire wide like that, you don't just want to send a couple of people. You want to back up because, you, you know. You can get, get roasted real quick like yep. that. Yep. So here we go. Big third down here for Grand Saline. They got to keep the drive alive. Third and four. And a uh -oh. little movement, I think. They call, they call timeout. They timeout. Yeah. Oh, so timeout. timeout. So another timeout taken by Grand Saline. That's their second of the first half. We'll take it with them. 338 left here in the first quarter of play. Arp please 3 nothing right here on that SN.
All right, here we go. Grand Saline, big third and four. Taylor fakes to Butterfield, Ooh. looking for a screen. And oh, what a catch. Wow. He caught that. Wow, what a catch made by number 19, Colt Boyd. Yeah. I, I want to see this again. I mean, he got stuck as he caught the ball, and he just bobbled it in. He just juggled it. Man, it was a screen. I thought Warp was going to blow it up here. He faked it to Butterfield, and they threw this, and it's he kind of was juggling it still, and he was stuck. Yeah. And still hold on to make the play. Nice job by Boyd. So first and 10, ball at the 49-yard line of Grand Saline. Four wides on this near side, and they're yeah. going to do that keeper play again. And, and Arp was, didn't really get yeah, too far with that. They were still ready for it, but they did do a little bit better than last time. As Arp's uh, Wyatt Hurts brought him down. They, they scouted this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they know when it's coming. Try to get some scores here, Vince. We got a uh, in a game, one of our pick'em games. As Lancaster leads early over Tyler High, 14-7. We talked about how they started, and it mm -hmm. looks like they're down again early in this one. So down early. We'll see if they can, they can fight, fight back. back. Yeah. So second down and about seven here. Taylor, handoff, Butterfield. Butterfield. Ooh. Up the feet. Up. And oh, uh, it was like a suplex tackle there by number 11, Julian Barcio. Man, he had him like a wrestling move there. It's, it is Friday Night SmackDown, but easy. <laughs> so let's bring up third down and one, Vince. What are you doing here? Going run I'm up the middle with I'm with, with uh, Jet again. So the thing is, it's not it's not panning out right now. I I might go with Butterfield again. Again, he that kid got some wheels, so I'm gonna try to get him in open space. Maybe I run a screen with him. We'll see. Here we go. Taylor in the gun. Butterfield to his right, and he's gonna keep it. Keep and it. Arps there stood him up, and he's going. No, the ball come loose. Bumble. Brett, what did I say? It ain't working right now. <laughs> it ain't, and that ball's recovered by number 11, that been, Vince. Uh, that's that's, that's Barcio again. Yeah. We just called his name, and we got an injured player here. Uh -oh. Well, let's, well, let's check the replay out here, Vince. That was – I want to see this again. This is a huge third down, and Arp's looking to come up. They're, they're, they're guessing to the quarterback keeper like I talked about. Yeah. And so – he kept it. There was a swarm of Tigers right there, I mean, right, just, from the, right from there. the get. And then 15 ripped it out. That was uh, Bryant Lane again. Bryant Lane. And the recovery. And uh, we're going to take an injury timeout right here. With 119 left during the first, we'll be right back. All injuries timeouts this year are sponsored by Karen Murphy with Century 21. Be right back. Karen Murphy with Century 21 is on your team, assisting with buying or selling a home. You can count on this math teacher, find the best deal, and get you the win. Call her for your real estate needs at 903-571-5882. Have you sustained a bone joint work or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea.
Back here on NSN, the injured Tiger on the play was number 52, Antonio Ponce. He's walking off on his own power with a little limp, but looks like he's going to be okay. And Vince, what a play there on that big third down. Yeah. Not only get the stop, but they got the strip. They did. They did. And if if you grant Celine right now, you realize, okay, we're going to have to we're going to have to work something else in, and we, we can come back to it later. Smith got a man open. Ooh. That's Bork. Breaks a tackle. Oh. He's got a foot race. Oh. Bork across the but 20 to the 10. He goes to the end zone. He's knocked out of bounds just short. What a play by Bork there, Vince. I see why they got Butterfield back there. <laughs> He's fast. <laughs> he, you're not going to outrun that kid. He is fast. He is fast. Let's take a look at that again here, Vince, as they're going to get the play in here as – Bork was wide open and was able to catch it this time. He kind of a little stop route right there before the sticks. Catched it, broke a tackle, and then it was just a foot race between I mean, him and Butterfield. Butterfield, Butterfield saves the, ta save the touchdown he, again. I thought he almost stayed in. So, great job there. And first and goal here for the Arp Tigers. Ball spotted. What do you say, Brett? The four. I say Smith is going to touch this, and he's going to keep it. Yeah, it's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Nope, he hands nope. off. And is he going to get in? Touchdown. 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 I can't see. I think it's to Sean Reed. Is that Reed? Yeah, I guess it was. So that touchdown here, we'll see it again here is the handoff. It went to, no, it wasn't Reed. It was. Oh, look. Keep. Oh, and we went for two. Went for two there, and it was good. On a keeper. Wow. Yeah. Didn't yeah, he? over here looking at the other play, and let's look at let's replay the. Uh, while we're looking at this, I still want to see who got that touchdown, Vince. That was a. It was bounced off. I can't tell. See, it wasn't five. I couldn't, couldn't see it. Couldn't, I, I couldn't tell who it was. I couldn't tell who it was. But anyway, the two-point conversion there while we were looking at the replay, Arp got sneaky. Old Schminky got sneaky. <laughs> went for two, and our score is now 11 to nothing here early. So they turned a turnover into eight points. Yeah. On the road, that's huge. Grant Celine, they're going to have to wake up soon. They want to stay in this one because Arp is starting to roll. Arp is uh, – they're ready to play here. Yeah. Let's see if we had – right now, um, at the start of the second quarter, in Troop, Edgewood and Troop tied 7-7. Seven seven. You got anything else for us? Uh, Pleasant Grove, 14-0 over Gilmer. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Kilgore, Linda, Kilgore and Lindale tied at 7. Okay. From big scores there. Uh, Barsley will be set to kick off here for the Arp Tigers with 105 left. That touchdown, along with every touchdown this season, is sponsored by Precision Scanning Service. Give a shout out to our man Hector Garcia. Sponsors every touchdown we have this year on that Hector. Ascent. You know, we ain't talking much to Hector this year. Well, I haven't talked much to Hector. And a little blooper kick, and it's fielded by Grand Celine. That's fielded by number 64, Trenton Green. So good job by Green to stay on that. They're not kicking deep to Butterfield, no, though. We, they don't we want talked him to about have, that. Yeah. They are avoiding him at so, all costs. Even if they give him the field position here. So, first mm -hmm. and 10 for Grand Celine. Ball at the 43 but yard. You got to think how confident they are in their defense, knowing that they're about to give up the field position. Yeah. Defense has played well so far. Yeah. So, here we go. In the gun. In the keep. And, ooh, mm. nice tackle there, Vince. Looks like that's uh, number 11 on the tackle. That's, um, oh, that's uh, Barcio. Yeah. Am he's I saying that right? Barcio? Barcio. He's, he's had a good game tonight. Right, yeah, he's balling. Good tackle. They're going to give him a gain of nothing. If it stays at this pace, Barcio going to get a lot going tonight. He gonna, he's well, he's going to get his. Him team. and Lane have both played well on defense. Yeah. We've called their name several times. They kind of helped each other out. And they're reading it perfectly every single time. Mm-hmm. So here we go, second down and 10. Again, you have Taylor in the gun. Taylor fakes the handoff, looks left, 
He's got a man open on the far side. It's caught by number three, Colton Prox. He's going to pick up almost enough yards for the first. He's going to be just short. So he's going to bring up third like down was, and uh, one. Looks like he was brought down by number 13, Woodward. Nehemiah Woodward. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play here in Grand Saline. Our score, ARP 11, Grand Saline nothing. We'll be right back for the second quarter right here on Netizen. Don't go anywhere. Back here on NetSN, Brett Sweeney alongside of me is uh, my man Vincent Johnson. We're back for another quarter here in Grand Saline. There's a big third and short here. Fake on the handoff oh. is Taylor breaks oh. it outside on the right oh. side. He's got a foot race. 20, 10, touchdown Grand Saline. Jet Taylor with a jet sweep out right for the and touchdown. You know why they call him Jet. I told you. What did I say? You don't name no kid Jet for no reason. We're going to keep it here for the extra point this time in case there's anything. Uh, we'll take a look at that touchdown yeah. in just a second. I don't know what they might do. They might do some sneaky. Looks like they're going to line back up. Fake swinging gate for a second. It's the end for the kick. Let's see. They haven't kicked tonight, so I'm not sure this is going to oh, be. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it's a fake. And intercepted in the end zone. That that pass was Jet Taylor. He was the. Now I don't know if the the snap. I don't know what happened on that. Um, I don't know if that was planned or not. Yeah, it may or may not be that the kicker that was going to line up was uh, Johnny Reyes. He didn't get a chance to kick though. Let's just take a look at the uh, the touchdown run here by Jet Smith here, or Jet Taylor. I'm sorry. We got the Smith Taylor. Yeah quarterbacks confused kind of the same. you're going in motion and he just fakes it and then he just follows his blockers outside and once he gets around in here turns that corner it's a foot race and yep um wasn't quite able to catch it was uh woodward and touchdown and grand saline got great job though grand saline fighting back i was kind of worried for a moment there. 11 6 this is an interesting score here yeah actually i got some more scores for you too shoot uh, Brook Hill, 13-0 over Arlington Grace Prep. All right. Shout out to our Brook Hill guard, one of our Netizen schools. Rockwall Heath is winning 21-0 against Tyler Legacy. Ouch. Um, and then I have another one here. Um, oh, Harmony, 25-0 over Elysian Fields. Uh, no surprise there. It's Harmony's, they're, they're looking for that clash against Dangerfield week 11. And Reyes kicks off with the left foot over here, and it's going to go out of bounds. And something you don't want to do no. is kick the ball out of bounds. So Arp's going to get good field position here to start this drive. You got anything else for me, Vince, while we're um, – Let's see here. Uh, updated score, Kilgore 14-7 over Lindell. Okay. And uh, Tenaha 34-7 over Car Carlisle. Carlisle just struggling this year. Yeah, they've they've had some trouble. Well, they're they're in district play now, so this is where they've got to step up. I got an updated score with 9:40 left in the first half in this district. Troop leads Edgewood 14 to seven. Okay. Uh, Dangerfield up over New Diana seven to nothing. 4:46 left in the first. There. As New Diana trying to come back. They almost beat Harmony last week. They're trying to play Dangerfield and Harmony back to back. Smith, hands off up the middle. It's Yarbrough. KJ Yarbrough with his. And I wonder if it was Yarbrough earlier, Vince, on the touchdown. He that hadn't, he hadn't played was. much. You know, Yarbrough's coming off an injury, so they're still working him back in. But a good run there for Yarbrough. And enough to pick up the first down. So here we go, and they've now just left. Looks like they're going to leave Reed in there in the backfield by himself this time with the 
quarterback Smith. And Smith's in the gun. He's going to go back to pass. Uh -oh. Throws out to what his left. Got? He's got a man open. It's Bork oh. again. Caught. Oh. Bork breaks some tackle. Oh, my gosh. He's still on his feet. He's inside oh, the wow. 10. The Touchdown, Arf. <laughs> what a play. Holy shenanigans. Let's get a replay on that one. Wait, we need to see that again. Holy moly. That's a Madden play. Uh, let's let's watch the extra point and we'll go back. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. what what the? Uh, I see you are. What superpower mode was he dog. on? I see you, Shmink dog. I see you out. Oh there. my <laughs> gosh, Zane Bork. I thought he was down two or three times. Point up. For Barsley is good. And let's go back let's and take a back look at this let's replay. Run it back real quick. Holy mackerel. Okay, so Smith back to pass. He's got Bork on the far side. He's just and defended well. He's all he's got def good defenders, breaks this tackle, runs through it. Then another Dang, one. Okay, bounce. nope. Bounces off of this guy. Now watch this. And he cuts back watch and turns on the, the burners, man. He's still third gear. gone. Woo. Man, what a touchdown pass from Smith to Bork. We're going to take a quick break. All touchdowns are sponsored by Precision Scanning Service. We'll be right back. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Back here on that in and Vince, I'm still trying to catch my breath after that touchdown Man, catch from Bork. Woo. Listen, Bork, he, he get the big piece of chicken tonight. <laughs> yeah. Only a sophomore as well. He's only a sophomore? Only a sophomore. Wow. A little pooch kick by Barsley, fielded by Grand Celine. They're going to cross the 40. I'm going to pick up about, I don't know, it's going to be marked about the 44-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Whew. Man, oh, man. That's one of the best plays I've seen all year, Vince. I've seen some good ones. Oh, yeah. I mean, just pure Absolutely. pure will to not be tackled. I mean, he stayed in bounds after breaking the tackle to only get hit again, break that tackle, and then he outran like three other guys. Uh-huh. So here we go. Grant Celine now back trailing by 12. And the keeper for Jet Taylor, and he's taken down in the backfield. Looks like A.B. Martin on the tackle there, Vince. Yeah, I think you're right on that. Looks like ref's trying to get the ball spotted, right? So second down and 10. Jet coming in with the play. Here we go. Taylor back to pass, steps up in the pocket. He's oh, got a man oh, wide oh, open, oh, caught. Touchdown. What a catch. Wow. Colton Prox with wow. a touchdown grab. 56 yards. <laughs> All right, so now they throwing haymakers. Woo. They're going back and forth now. Man, oh, man. But that's what the people want. That's what we came to see. We came to see the best, and we're getting it, Vince. Absolutely. Two teams, they need a win. Ain't nobody going home till we figure it out. No, it's it's going to be a good one here. Somebody locked the gate, and we ain't letting <laughs> nobody leave till we figure this one out. On for the PAT. That's good. And it's up and good for number seven, Johnny Reyes. Vince, what a play. Yeah. Let's, I mean, let's, let's, let's look at it again. I mean, Prox, somebody forgot to guard this man. 
as Taylor did a great job, steps up in the pocket, and he's like, man, don't drop that, please. Yeah, just blown coverage. And nothing but that is, whew. Wow. So with 10 minutes to go in the half, the game is now 18-13. Arp still leads. We'll be right back here on Dennis In. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. So here we go, back on that SN and we got a shootout here, Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's Reyes with the lefty boots it deep this time. Fielded at the, oh, close to the end zone there. It's gonna be fielded by number six there, Vince. Yeah, and brought down by uh, number two, Blaine Thompson. That's Josh Garrett on the return. It's gonna be marked, you know marked down about the I, I 34. Need to say this too. Big shout out to uh, uh, Colton Prox, because to be open like that, like we talked about it earlier, sometimes you're thinking end zone before you catch the you ball. Make the like catch he, first. He had to slow up to catch it too. Like mm -hmm. he, he really had to pay attention to that. That was a lot of pressure. So Frank Smith and the Arp Tiger offense back on the field, first and ten. Be at the 36 yard line. Smith keeps looking for some blockers, finds a few. Nice first down run for Smith. Yeah, he was brought down by uh, by Jet Taylor, number five. And that's the thing about these kind of the smaller schools. You got a lot of guys Play both playing ways. both ways. Yeah. So you yeah. got the touchdown score over here. You've got Prox back in the secondary. You've yeah. got Butterfield. All these guys are playing both ways. Believe it or not, Chapel, my old Chapel Hill days, you know, early Chapel Hill days, some of us had to play both ways. So we, we, we grew. We grew quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and four. Oh, he keeps it. Smith keeps it late, Ooh. and he pulls a nice – not a fake set a couple of guys. It's but gonna, Butterfield is always there. And he's crossed the 50, and it's going to be taken down around the 48-yard line. It's going to be first down for the Arf Tigers. Nice job by Smith there. The late pull. I'm telling you, he reading it perfectly. It, to me, I don't feel the, like it's late. He has to well, see it. Well, it's the, the right? later, almost the later, the better. As long as you can, yeah, as long as you know and you you're get, the running you back, you don't them, you pull too tight with it. You yeah. have to make them think about it, right? They have to pause for that second and see where it's going. You, you know? want us to be faked out because yeah. you want to fake out the other team. So yeah, he absolutely. does a good job at it. You're, yeah. you're definitely right. He's, I, it's a I good give technique. It to Smink. Smink, Smink taught that well. He did. Smink dog. Yeah, he did. He taught that well. Handoff. That's Reed again. Makes a couple of nice moves up the middle. That's why it's so successful. I mean, honestly, I, not to not to harp on it, but um, I've seen other times where they don't hold it like that, you mm -hmm. know, and they pull it too early, and you can mm -hmm. see it coming a mile away. Yeah, you know, um, this is a horrible fake, but they do it perfectly. Nice so. job there. It's a big. That's a nice seven-yard run for Reed. So it's going to bring up second down and three. Ball spotted there at the. 42-yard line of Grand Saline. So Arp looking to continue to put points on the board. It's going back and forth here in Grand Saline. Motion. Smith rolls uh -oh. out to the right. Rolls out. Fake. He's got, he got a man. He's got Bork again. Oh, oh, nice job on wow. defense. Defended by um, uh, Pablo. Ooh. Jimenez. Jim Jimenez. Probably it's the Spanish. Him, yeah. Jimenez. Jimenez. Man, great Listen. play. That was a touchdown, touchdown, right? Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> he saved the touchdown on that one. Good job, Pablo. Wow. We got an injured player down. All injury timeouts uh -oh. are sponsored by Karen Murphy with Century 21. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Karen Murphy with Century 21 is on your team, assisting with buying or selling a home. You can count on this math teacher to find the best deal and get you the win. Call her for your real estate needs at 903-571-5882. 
Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Back here on NetSN, our, we'll still have now a third down and three after that great defensive play by Grand Salines, Pablo Jimenez. Smith keeps looking for some space up the middle, oh. breaks a tackle, and it's gonna pick up the first down. It's gonna be spotted about the 38 yard line. Nice pickup up the middle for Frank Smith. And wrapped up again by uh, Jet Taylor. These guys are going back and forth. Yeah. So clock rolling now is got 7.30 left here in the first half. And it's been a slugfest here in Grand Saline. Smith fakes the handoff, pitches, pitches out to ooh, Reed. Oh, a nice perfect. tackle. Wow. And that was tackled by Jet again. Listen, what did I say? You don't name your child Jet unless he cold. <laughs> well. He that playing both sides of the ball like that. Let's see. Let's see what they they read this play very well as Arp got up to the ball and hiked it. And Smith faked it inside to Yarbrough and then pitched it to Reed and then boom, boom. nice tackle. Nice open field. Tackle. I mean, there's mm. nobody behind him. Mm -mm. If he gets by him and Reed yeah. has plenty of space. Absolutely. So. So that loss of five there is going to bring up, or four brings up second down to oh. 14. Smith finds oh. a man open. That's Bork again. He's wow. got space inside the five. Touchdown, Zane Bork. Man, wow. there goes that man, Vince. <laughs> what a job by Bork. He just, it, Bork it's almost like he, he's got a superpower to not be tackled, Vince. I don't, I don't get it. But he's frustrating a lot of defenders out there tonight. Woo. And they bring in Barsley here for the point after touchdown here. Man. How many touchdowns is that for him, too? Yep. Bort? Yeah. High snap, good hold by Smith. Kick by Barsley is up, and it's That's good. good. So with 6.29 left here in the half, Arp now leaves 25-13. Let's take a look at that, that touchdown, uh, Vince. As Bork's lined up on the far side over here, um, Smith's looking at him immediately. He just kind of stops after about four yards and then breaks one tackle, fakes another man out of his shoes, and then just slips another tackle. Yeah. And, and that was like – And no he, he made a guy – the guy got injured trying to tackle him. Vince. Yeah, and actually, I believe that was the guy who was injured. That was a uh, that was number fifty. Yeah, uh, Francisco. Um, I, I'm not gonna try that one. Francisco, but you got it. A lot is a Zlotti? I don't know. <laughs> we was gonna call him Francisco. We were calling Francisco, but he uh, he got hurt on a couple of plays before that. So trying to make that play, looks like he got hurt again, kinda, or at least aggravated the injury. So, man, that's tough. Mm -hmm. Bork, I don't know. He's got some kind of super mushroom or something from Mario. Like I don't know, man. I I, I can't figure it out. I got to fit. And this is just the first half. Yeah. You so know. we've had uh, that's three yard touchdowns. Um, two of them with great plays by Zane Bork, and then the field goal. And Grant Celine is now down twelve again. It's just going to be a slugfest. Barsley set to kick off. Little pooch kick short. It's going to bounce. That's not a good idea. Ooh, it was dangerously fielded. <laughs> I just got cool. I, I just wanted to see what was going to happen. I was like, ooh, you 
do not do that. That is mm-hmm. not – you don't hit. let it hit the ground mm-hmm. ever, ever, ever on a little mm-hmm. pooch kick like that. No. Because that football is not round, Vince. No. It does not bounce no. normal. Wherever you think it's going, trust me, it's going the opposite. And the uh, – I guess the brother of Francisco field that one. That was Brian. So, number 11 there on the the uh, re- reception there. That was a good job to to get on that. Luckily, it bounced to him. It could have gone very badly for the Grand Slain Indians. So here we go. Taylor looking to answer here. He's going to pull it. He keeps. Oh, he oh, couldn't he, turn a lot the corner, of, though. couldn't, and there's a lot of Art Tigers there. Looks like he was brought down by number six. I think it was number six, yes. Okay. Josh That's Smith. Josh Smith. Okay. So. But only picked up one. That was a long one. It, it felt was. like he ran a lot for one yard. Yeah. Arp's doing a good job of getting over and, and kind of cutting the, off the end over here. Arp's been in the film room. You can tell. Yeah. He's been in the film room. So, second down and nine. Ball at the 39-yard line. Motion. Back to pass. Taylor looking oh, deep. Oh, he's got a man, Prox. Oh, oh and they're going to they throw the flags. The flag. Oh, man. <laughs> All three of them. One, yeah. two, three, Hankies. Now, I don't think they needed to take him down, Vince. I think this ball was probably overthrown. We'll see here on the replay. But I, it, I, don't, think, I don't think he's going to get that. But... It looks overthrown, but I imagine to the to the defender they can't they can't tell it. Now, means. can the refs get together and say was it was because it catchable at all? Yeah. If it's not, then mm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll that, that pass was intended for Colton Prox. So uh, we didn't say that last time. Pass interference on the defense. I think there was also a a roughing the passer penalty. Huh. So you had two 15 yarders. They can take whichever one they want there. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a first and ten for Grand Saline either way. The only thing is in high school, which I don't, I've said this a few times this year. Mm-hmm. I don't like the rule of the pass interference. I think it needs to be a spot foul. It does. To me, like I if, don't agree with that at all. Because if you're down here and the guy's about to score and you tackle him, they should get the ball where you tackled him, yeah. not I, not. Because as a 15. defender, it's like, yeah, I would, I would to, hey. Just don't, just, let, don't hey, let him score. Hey, if he's going to score, just yeah. tackle him before just he catches him. it. We'll give him 15, but we're not giving him the end zone. So. So, Grand Saline now is going to have the ball on the ARP. 46-yard line, first and 10. Clock rolling under six minutes to go. Hand off to Butterfield. Slips to a tackle. Still on his feet. And he's going to pick up about 10 yards, maybe Pretty maybe nine. Run. Yeah. Just following his blocks there. Yeah, smart run. Nothing fancy, just Mm-mm. nice, nice job of our field to stay. Just stay patient. Yeah. Kind of touched his blockers a few times. Yeah. And, you know, stay behind him. I'm here, guys. Block me. And that's a good first down play for Grand Saline. You get, you get second down and one, a lot of good things are going to happen if you're mm-hmm. picking up that many yards on first down. So second down and one from 37. Oh, and Jet Smith or Jet Taylor keeps it. Man, wow! There goes those Jets again. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds at around the. I got shocked because I, I noticed the block. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's an open field." <laughs> so, at the 18, first and 10 for Grand Saline. Again, if you're watching tonight's broadcast, let us know who you're watching, where you're watching from, what school you're watching. Let us know that. We want to see how far someone is watching this game. High snap. Taylor keeps it. Oh, oh Arp's own guy it. blocks each other out. Wow. Turn that 
Yeah. I want to see that again because I he think. He turned a dead play into a couple of yards. Yeah, the Arp Tigers there, Vince. They, I mean, they read it right. It yeah, just, they, number 15, Bryant Lane was about to make the tackle here, I believe, and we're watching the replay. He, he, he had it right here, and boom, his own man clips him. Yeah. Oh. So that's a tough break for Arp, and, and Gransling took advantage of it. So they got second down and five now from the 13. Taylor. Hand off to Butterfield. Off to Butterfield. Here we he go. goes outside looking for some blockers. Butterfield Ooh, makes me man, there's a lot oh, of oh, contact oh, oh, going oh. on down here. Balls the ball loose. A lot of aggression out there, you know? A lot of emotion going on. <laughs> Arp's saying they got the ball. I don't know what the refs are talking about. Let's take a look at this play here, Vince. The refs are talking about it. Let's, let's look here yeah, as, let's see as Butterfield comes around in. A lot of Arp Tigers there. The ball is out there. Arp jumps on it. Now, I don't know if they marked it down before that, but Arp did recover it at about the six. So we'll see if they marked the ball dead before then or not. I, I wonder if he was down. Well, they're they're doing a good job. you got to give it to the referee crew. Oh, yeah. Everybody's getting together. They're going to all get their, their say, and they're going to talk to Coach Drennan and tell him what they're, they've decided. We'll see how by his reaction. It's a big call right here. And he didn't go berserk, so I'm assuming they're going to give Ranceline the ball. They haven't moved it back yet. That's no, it's still mean. it's still up there. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see where they mark it. Now, if the it's that's where the ball was recovered by the, the Tigers. Yeah. But if it's with the Indians ball, I think it's going to be back closer to the 10. Okay. Looks like they're about to move it back. Well. Well. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. He's going to move it a little bit. Let's see where he. No. Well, say that. They can't hear each other, I think. So where is he putting the ball? It's weird because he's kind of putting it. Where they recovered oh, hold it, on. At, but unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense, so automatic first down. So it must have been a something that Art must have done something there. So that's going to put the ball yeah. at a around the four, maybe three and a half yard line. First and goal for Grand Celine. That's a big penalty right there. Yeah, like I said, there was a little a little emotion out there. <laughs> now, play. now I think Coach Minky may want an explanation of what happened. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Referee kind of walked over there and said, let's go. So we go. First and goal. Keeper, Taylor, oh. has got a little space, and, and he's going to get to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Grand Celine. Four-yard touchdown for Jet Taylor. You know, these two quarterbacks, they're so good. Like, you can be in position to make the play and still not make the play. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. That was a really good run. He just kind of, he was very patient. He just yeah. waited to find this little gap, and then he took it. Yeah. He looked inside. Nope. There's no room there. Kept going out, and then finally found around the end there. So we got Reyes on for the point after, and the kick is up, and it's good. Let's go back and check out that touchdown run here by our man Jet Taylor events. Um, nothing special, just lines up the gun and, and you know, he's just going to keep it. Fakes it to his man Butter, Butterfield to draw defenders. Maybe slips a couple tacklers early yeah. and just gets through the corner of the end zone. So yeah. nothing to it. So with 346 left here in the first half, Arp now leads 25 to 20 right here on that SN. I'll be right back. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? 
suffer with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Back here on NetSM, my man Vince has some updated scores. I got one that Corey, uh, our buddy Corey might love, this one. Uh, White House is down to Pine Tree right now, 21 to 14. Did he, did he edit that score? Is that Corey submitting that score? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's going to love that one. Uh, Kilgore Lindale tied at 14 apiece. Um, Canton, no surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. Carthage, no surprise over Canton right now, 35 to 0. And um, let's see what else we got here. Reyes, Reyes kicks off to the Tigers. It's fielded by number six, Smith. Now I'm pretty sure this can't be right. I, we may have to check this one, but right okay. now it says Jacksonville is up 35 to 15 over Chapel Hill. Hmm. That would be a surprise. I had to. I had to look at it twice. <laughs> that would be a shocker of the night. Also, uh, another – well, I, I, don't, I guess it's not really a shocker, but uh, Pleasant Grove, 28-0 to zero over Gilmer right now. Ooh. Gilmer just trying their best to figure it out right Gilmer's now. Gilmer's good. Newsflash, Gilmer's good. Mm -hmm. As here we go, as handoff to Reed. Reed trying to get outside, slung Ooh. out of bounds by Grant Saline after a gain probably about – Five there, yeah, maybe Brought six. Brought out of bounds by our boy uh, number fifty, uh, Francisco. I'm gonna see if I can verify oh, the score. Board's not loaded there on that stream, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna verify that Chapel Hill score at some point here for us. As Arp on that second down or on first down of the nice game, so they're gonna have second down and four here. Be nice for Arp to uh, pad their lead here before half ends. Yeah. So here we go. Smith keeps it, takes it. Oh, oh and is he immediately hit. Big hit. Man. Didn't pitch it to Reed, and he paid for it. We still picked up a few yards, so got about half of what they needed. So it's going to bring up third down and two. I'm going to credit number, let's see. Looks like 54 was out there. Carson Brown, uh, know, it's number 19 on that tackle. Colt Boyd. I couldn't tell which one laid that hit like that, though. Whew, somebody laid some lumber. Yeah. Another score right here real quick. Uh, Rockwall Heat, 31-0 to Tyler Legacy. Frank Smith Over with Tyler. the keeper up the middle. Vince and picked up the first. Crosses Ooh. around the 40. So that score is backwards, Vince. It is 35 <laughs> to 15, courtesy of our man Keith Whitman and, and Christian Blevins over on our other broadcast on our Netizen broadcast I'm on Texan Live. It for you. All right, Smith throws to Bork again, breaks a tackle. Here goes Bork. Crosses the 50 and is going to pick up the first down. Looks like there's a flag on the far side, though. Maybe coming back for some kind of holding. So somebody accidentally messed that one up, I think, there. Those scores flipped. Because we're in the second quarter of that game. So it's going to be a penalty on the Arp Tigers. It's going to back them up. So now it's going to be first and 15 from their own 35-yard line. We got a shout out to Q from Lufkin. Thanks, Q, for uh, tuning in. Who are you watching, Q? We're well, curious of who you're watching tonight in tonight's broadcast. Again, like uh, like this video, please. If you're watching, if you can click that like, it'll help us know that you enjoyed tonight's broadcast. Handoff up the middle. It's a nice run for Yarbrough. Crosses the original line of scrimmage a minute ago. Going to be around the 41-yard line. So a pickup of six. Bring up second down and nine. 
yeah, those likes really help us out. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you don't, if you haven't already. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you'll get all our live broadcasts. We have this one. We have two other ones going tonight. We'll have some every week. We have weekly shows, lots of content, not just football season. We'll have other sports as well. So, um, but, yeah, liking our videos, it, it really helps us out. Just yeah. it's, our, it's your way to appreciate us. We don't charge anybody for our broadcast, so just give us a like and help us yeah. out tonight. Like, share, subscribe. There you go. Smith, back to pass. He's looking for Bork uh -oh. again. He's got him open the sideline. He Caught! Oh, my What God. a catch by Bork. Oh, we – Oh, my goodness. He can't defend it any better. He is defended perfectly, and Smith put it on a Unless platter you put for him. put your hands on the ball. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know either. We might, we'll go back and maybe see that here in a minute. We'll see. Smith. Gonna keep. Keep it. He's got some rooms. Gonna be taken down. Take about three or four yards on that carry. So, and then Arb's gonna take a timeout. So let's look at that. Let's go back and look at that last play by Bork here, Vince. It's it's almost identical to the play earlier on the sideline. Mm -hmm. He just runs a deep go route uh, down the sideline, and Smith just drops it in for him. I mean, here goes. Nothing fancy. Great coverage by Grand Celine and yeah. makes the catch and gets his feet in. And I think that's uh, Prox on the coverage. That's and, and he's he's right there. So how demoralizing is that on defense? When you play perfect defense and he still, and he still drops it and makes the catch yeah. on you. I mean, yeah, that's when. Uh, <laughs> that's tough. You just, you, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to coach. You can't you can't tell your kids, hey, be better because you're perfect. You're doing. What you're supposed to do. You're so right we got, there. We got 46 seconds to go. Ball is spotted at the Grand Saline, what, 27-yard line. Got 46 seconds to go. Harp's got one timeout. I know where I'm going with the ball. Oh, absolutely. Zane yeah. Bork, right? I mean, yeah. I give him. One option now. <laughs> so they, they did on that first down play, they picked up about five, maybe four. So it's going to be a second down along five, maybe six here. Um, we'll see where they go now. One guy I'd like to see get the ball at some point during this game and get it back is our man DeMarcus Wade. Wade he had a couple yeah. drops early. He's down here one-on-one he, -on -one yeah. coverage by himself. But they haven't looked his way here lately. It'll be interesting to see if they go with him at some point. Smith, he's going back over to Bork. Ooh, Ooh just a bad throw just way bad. behind yeah. Bork. Kind of rushed it a little bit. And Wade's out here by himself. I mean. So third down and six. Clock stops, 42 seconds to go. Oh, we got some likes coming in. Keep those likes in. We got four. Let's let's try to get let's try to get at least fifty before the night's over. Keep them keep them coming. We got uh, Charles Thompson. Let's go Tigers from Rapid City, South Dakota. South Dakota. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got uh, Hildreth, Nebraska. Really. And then we got uh, Let's Go Tigers from Sherry Blanton. Is Frank Smith's in the gun. Rolling right. He's going uh -oh. for the end zone. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's Bork again. Over the shoulder. Oh, man. Oh, he was looking for a flag. He didn't get it. Great coverage over there by Grant Celine. You know, I didn't think we'd get out of Texas with this game. But I appreciate the love. Hey, Grant Celine and Arp showing out tonight. Both their fans are, yeah. are coming to watch. We appreciate you. Now we're up to six likes. Keep those likes rolling, people. We, lo we love them. We also stay tuned for a halftime show. We'll have... Both the uh, Fight in Indian Band and the uh, Art Tiger Pride Band at halftime. So we'll have the whole halftime show here on NetSN. So stay that tuned for that. Me. I would probably. You just try to pick up the first here? You Fourth got, and six. You got time. Yeah, just get the Borks one on one down here in the bottom. That's oh, where they're oh, looking flags, up. The play was flags. flags blown dead. Now it was the movement there. So that's going to back them up five more yards. That hurts. So, so in order to get the first, you don't need a whole lot. Well, I mean, now you probably do. But I may fake a handoff, try to send uh, Boyk on a slant just to get him in the middle of the field and, and, and try to make something happen there. Yeah, it's I don't want to have to go to I don't want to go to the end zone right now. You know, you don't wanna, have to. You, yeah, you, I don't have to. The clock's going to stop. The clock's going to stop on a first down. So yeah. you, you have to get a first. Yeah. So. Anywhere is open on the field. They still have one timeout, and they just need to pick the first up. Just go to who you think you can count on here. Take a handoff. Hand Reed. 
On the slant. But it's, it's, oh. oh, it's our man Wade with a catch. And he got out of bounds. Good job. God, nice job by Wade. Could have crossed the 20. They're going to spot him around the 18-yard line. Great job by Demarcus Wade. That's a big catch for him, too. It's, yeah. it's a confidence builder. Absolutely. And, and um, looks like, Is he coming off the field? No, no. Wade's going to be on the far side over there. Looks okay. like they've got Wade and Pierce over on the far side with Bork in the slot. Frank Smith going to roll left. Steps up in the pocket, flings it. Nice catch there. Here Breaks go. the tackles. It's Pierce at the goal line. He's going to wow. be stopped short. Looks like he brought and, that around the five. And they're going to call a timeout okay. with about 14 seconds to go. And it's going to be first and goal ARP. Now, now this is where you 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 might want to keep keep the ball. You might want to, instead of faking it, just go on and tuck it and take it. It's going to be a risky call here on first and goal. Vince, we'll be right back with it. With 14 seconds left and a half, ARP inside the five right here on that SN. First and goal for the Arp Tigers from the three-yard line. Smith, quick, oh, pass. quick pass. Bork adjusts and intercepted, intercepted oh, and he He's caught it. Back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's going all the He's way. Oh, my God. Number it's one. Taylor. Just, just let him go. Just let him go. And a pick Touchdown. six. Wow. A hundred-plus yards for Taylor. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And we got flags down here at midfield. Oh. Oh, oh ref, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, ref. Wait right. a minute. <laughs> what do we got? Ref. Man. Let's see what they call here. We'll go back and look at that. And see if we can see where the flags are here in just yeah. a minute. I said when he when he came down, I said no more blocking. <laughs> he didn't need it. He didn't need it at that point. So here we go, blocking the back. Mm-hmm. Hard. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Dead ball. They pointed that way, blocking the back. So, let's go back and look at that. Let's see what happened there, Vince. So the, here was the interception. A great play by Taylor. Stays on his feet, almost fell right there. And let's see if we see where the block in the back is. Is that one the one that right that, there? That must have been it right It was that there. kind of blindside block there, and that's probably going to be it. Yeah. And that's the difference between, man, we could have had Arp up 32 to 20. We could have had Grand Celine up and – yeah. Man, 25 20. What a half. Wow. Mm. I hate to be that kid in that locker room right Oof. now. Ooh, we. The rest were all over it, though. Yeah. I mean, it was so, the right call. But you just, you got, you can't make that mistake right there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, well, that's going to do it here for the first half of action here. Again, thank you for tuning in and watching. Uh, enjoy the halftime shows from both the Grand Celine band and the art bands. Um, again, keep those likes coming. Uh, we appreciate everyone tuning in and watching tonight's broadcast. I'd like to make a special shout out to our man uh, at ARP ISD, Mike Alzamore, for allowing us to uh, broadcast the ARP Tigers tonight. And I'd like to take a shout to uh, Coach Drennan from Grand Saline for allowing us to be here in Grand Saline tonight. At the half, ARP leads Grand Saline 25 20. Enjoy the halftime show here on NetSN.
And we're back. Second half action here, Vince. If it's anything like the first half, we're in for a treat here oh, in Grand yeah. Slain. And like you said at the beginning of this game, both of these teams, they need this win. Mm -hmm. So I, they about to let it loose. They about to open up the playbook now. So here we go as set to kick off here is Reyes. Little kick and that's gonna be fielded by Reed. He's got a little space. Almost goes to the 40, just short. Tackled down by Grand Sleen at about the 39 yard line to mark him down. So first and 10 Arp. Now, for those of you that were under a rock and didn't see the play to end the half, mm. Vince, mm. Arp had first and goal from the three, three yard four, line yeah, three. and threw a pick six. Grand Sleen went all the way back. Yeah. And a penalty caused that play not to even happen. Yeah, uh, I mean, we, we were that close from seeing Grant Celine go up for the first time, really, and and going into the half. I mean, there was no time on the clock. Mm -hmm. So, so that's big, how good these was, two teams are. It's a big play. So how competitive they are. Looking for another good half here as Arp's going to get it first and 10 from the 39. Frank Smith, handoff. That's Ree looking for some room and doesn't find a whole lot. Maybe he's going to pick up two yards there on first down. Yeah, looks like uh, brought down by number 15 on that play. Uh, that is uh, Gavin Rodriguez. So, it's going to be second down and eight. We interested to see if Grand Slim makes any adjustments with their coverage on Bork over there. I mean, they, they've done a good job, but it seems like it's not enough, and there's yeah, a flag. Like, you, there it is again. Did yeah. he catch that? He almost did. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, like, he got some hands, man. Like So, 
Legal movement there on the Tigers. Going to back him up five yards. We're going to classify him. He, he's a dog. He'll go yeah. get it. Yeah. Like Dion says, he's a dog. He's he going to go get that mm. every time. Yeah, it's definitely seen a lot of that this, uh, this first half for sure. Yeah. A couple of those plays I thought for sure he was down. The only way to defend him is to pick the ball off. Yeah, that's what they had to do at the end of the yeah, half. absolutely. I mean, that was the only time they stopped him. So second down and 13 for our peer. Handoff, Reed mm. got a hole, and he's going to make a nice gain there. Looks like he's going to get up to about the 45-yard line there, Vince. Nice run by Reed. That was a really good run. Lost his shoe on that. And again, Smith tucking it in there, holding it, holding it, holding it. Last second. All right, you go. Yeah. So a nice gain. So it's going to bring up third down and four from the 45-yard line of the Tigers. Smith keeps it. Got a lot of room up the middle, still on his feet. And he's going to pick up the first bit. down. Ball across midfield, now inside of Grand Saline territory at the 42. That dual threat, Frank Smith has been pretty pretty, pretty consistent today. He's, yeah. Him and Bork have been mainstays on these drives. So here we go, and Smith in the gun again. He keep he gives it off to Reed that time, and Reed's going to gain maybe about uh, uh, four, four, yeah, somewhere around four yards. Bring up second down and six. We got uh, we got Jonathan Griffin watching. It says Spud Griffin watching from Omaha, Nebraska. Nebraska. Tiger pride never dies. Class of '88. Okay. So all right. Thanks for watching. Again, we're looking for the likes. We're looking for 50 likes tonight. We're at 12. We need 38 more. Come on. Come on, guys. If you're watching this broadcast and you haven't liked this, this uh, stream yet, go ahead and like it for us. That really helps us out. We'll give everybody a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> How about we'll give everybody a great game? I think we a can promise game. them that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So here we go. Second and six for Smith. Fakes the handoff. Uh -oh. He's looking uh -oh. for – that's oh, Wade this Wade. time, and he makes the catch. And he's, and he's going. Man, nice job by Wade. Brought down by Prox. And, and going to be uh, inside the 10 there, about maybe at the 9 for first and goal for the Arp Tigers. This seems familiar. They were back down here early. They were here last time they had the ball, mm -hmm. first and goal. We'll see if they can cash in this time as – you know, Schmeeke and companies want to uh, cash in on these and drives. Just casually going down the field, like it, mm -hmm. you know. So here we go, Smith gives it to Yarbrough, trying to find some room. Yeah, and ran out of real estate. Yeah, that one. nowhere to go. He's going to still pick up maybe one or two there. Grant Celine did a good job on their pursuit to cut off that outside edge. See where they mark the ball. I think it's going to be around the. Looks like Trevor Green coming out of the game. Looks like the seven, Vince. So you're going to give him the seven yard line. So it'll be first and goal, or second and goal from the seven. Mm -hmm. Smith. Yarbrough up the middle. He's got mm, close. They oh, they're going to mark him just short. Man, that was a really good job by Yarbrough there. Yeah, that did. was that was close. Well, Thought he might have got in. Let's take a look here, Vince, and see how close he was. As he was, he was really close to getting in here. And. Ooh, really close there. Mm. So here we go. Live action. Third and goal. Smith keeps. And touchdown. He's in. Touchdown, Tigers. Smith with a keeper from one yard. And Arp now extends their lead back to 11. 
So nothing fancy there. Smith. Nah. Just doing what he does. Like I said, they casually just went right down the field. I think it was hurting Grand Saline right now. They're not really getting a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. So by the time the defender has met Smith or 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 Boyk or whoever it is coming out of the backfield, uh, I mean, they've already they've already gained like two or three yards by 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 then. So. And all you really need, if you average four yards a carry, that's the first down. Yep. You know, in, in three plays. So, Point after there by Ty Barsley is up and good with 8.43 left here in the third quarter of play. Arp now leads 32-20 right here on NetSN. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone joint work or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Ty Barsley set to kick off here for the Tigers. We got uh, Butterfield and Prox back deep for the Indians. Swift kick coming. Um, yep. Yeah, a little short kick and good job there this time to field it before it bounced. Fielded by number 11. That is... Uh, Go ahead, Vince. Brian Izalde. Izal I like that, Izalde. Okay. That, was, that sounded all right. <laughs> it might not be right, though. I'm sure it's not right. It's close. It's close. So it's going to be now first and 10. Ball at the 40-yard line of the Indians. And they need to answer right here. Have to. Five wide. Let's see what they do. So Taylor keeps it right up the middle again. He's got a big hole. Taylor, nice run by Taylor, 12-yard keep. He's kind of been doing it all for him tonight. Yeah, he's he's been real impressive tonight. I mean, imagine, again, you know, the end of that, that half, he got to be tired by now. Yeah, he's he just, I mean, he went from running a 100-plus yard. yard. Interception, yeah. yeah. And he's just back out here just doing his thing. Like it never happened, really. So, yeah, and playing defense for Swallow Go yeah, too. Yeah, playing defense. He he doesn't come off the field. So first and ten, handoff, Butterfield, off the left side. Okay, good pick up there. Nice job there. It's going to be a gain of about six on first down. Both teams have have uh, been really efficient on offense. Yeah. I think uh, Grand Saline started just a little bit slow. That's why they're behind. Well, and that, that turnover, that strip that strip mm, from ARP earlier. Absolutely. I forgot about that one. So, the strip, I think that was a bright lane there in the strip. Yeah, yeah. And just ripped it out of the hands of the Indians. And so, that and, turn, and, they, really and they turned that into eight points, and that was really the difference here. Yeah, that's that's really the difference right there. You're right. Taylor. Just going to take mm. it himself off Good the right side the around the end and a Ooh. grab from the – that's going to be a Play. horse collar yeah, tackle. Collar. Unfortunately for Zane Bork there, Vince, that's the worst thing he's done all night. It hasn't been too many <laughs> things bad, but grabbing that horse collar, that's going to cost mm -hmm. him 15 yards and kind of shook himself Looks up like there. He's limping a little bit. That's a really bad play if you horse collar tackle and then you hurt yourself. Yeah. Might be safe to get him out of there. Yeah, might give him a little rest here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be an automatic first down for Grant Celine. Ball is now spotted at the 24 yard line of the Tigers. Taylor, handoff again to 
No, that's not Butterfield this no, time. That's, this is um, that's a Zal Zaldi. It's Zaldi, yeah. And he's going to be marked down, crosses the tw crossing the twenties down to about the eighteen. So they gave Butterfield a break there. Those ones were uh, Fuchs. I didn't didn't see that. They snuck him in there. Got a nickname. There was a BZ, maybe that's what they call him. I, I thought see. I heard that. Yeah, could, I was like, could I'm see. Like, I could see BZ? that. BZ. BZ. There's probably a reason he has that nickname. Mm-hmm. Taylor. And he's got, tries to break through a tackle on a lot of Tigers there. Now, he's used to, you know, shouldering the load alone but in that case should he have pitched he, he it should have pitched that off okay. and, and led the block uh, oh we got some flags uh -oh. laundry flying all over the place here let's uh let's go back and see what happened there Vince I didn't see oh we got a we got Looks a like scrum here right play. here at this at the end of oh. the play a little uh, wrestling going on here and a little bit extracurricular that's why the flags flew there. So I think they've been into it all night. <laughs> we'll see if they get this sorted out. You know something new I'm going to do next week, Vince? What you going to do? First time for me, I'm going to call a volleyball game on NetSN. <laughs> so if you want to hear <laughs> some comedy, uh, come join me for Tuesday yeah. night. I'm going to be traveling over to uh, – uh, one of our our home school, I call them the Brook Hill Guard. The Brook Hill Guard to call an, a a crosstown rivalry, All Saints Brook Hill volleyball. Oh, that's gonna be good then. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. And it's gonna be even better because you get to hear me call volleyball. Mm. <laughs> that's some real comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gonna be. Our man Keith got this all set up. I think he did it on purpose. He set me up, got it scheduled. Oh, I got a conference to be to. I gotta go be out of town. So oh, now, man. you know, i got to step yeah, in, you, you know. That's what happened when you're the boss. You have to step in and fill in for you people. Gotta, that's what you're supposed to do. you gotta, gotta make sure you got to We got to make sure the stream goes, even if it's comedic, yeah. you know. Yeah, so it is what it is. Maybe we'll have a guest appearance of Coach Hubbard. I've invited him on if he has time to oh, uh, okay. to help me. Okay. So we'll see if he takes the invitation. But uh, I, I don't know if they just – maybe this was offsetting here because I, I think we're still sitting where we were, Vince. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out. Okay, looks like they get it. they got it figured out. Well, get us some scores here in a minute, Vince. We got yeah. some, we got some yeah, I got time. Some, I got some for you. Cause our game is probably I'll behind some of the other ones. Some of them are probably getting close to to the end of the game here. So Taylor in the gun. Oh, fakes it. Goes. He got a man wide open and caught. Oh, Grand Celine. Touchdown by, catch by Colt Boyd. Boyd, that he was open earlier. He was. And they got in the ball this time. And and if you saw it, you know, Jet took a lick to get that ball out there. Yeah, we'll we'll look at it here once the point after is is done here and see see the entirety of that. But I, I learned my lesson on playing the replays during the two point conversion a while ago. So uh, never know what's gonna happen. As now they line up with Reyes on for the point after. Kick is up. It's good. And it's good. It's back to five-point game, 32-27. Vince, let's take a look at that. It's a nice play fake there. He faked, a, he faked that short route. Waited for Boyd to get open here. Let's see. He had yeah, motion. Motion Same there. Points. Faked it short, and he had a guy all okay. over him and still hit Boyd. So, yeah, it looks like there was some blown coverage right there. And you had a defender that had to choose between two receivers to guard. Yep. So, with 6.32 left, now we're back to a five-point game, back yeah. and forth. Man. Yeah, really good game. I hope everybody's paying attention. Man, if you're not watching this game. I mean, I can give you some scores from the other games, but ain't none of them going to be as hot as this one. Well, let's, right let's, let's hear what you got. All right. So, right now, Brook Hill is up 27-7 to against uh, Grace, Pre uh, Grace Prep. Okay. Prep. Uh, still, I well, that's not updated, so we won't go there. Um, Rockwall Heat 34 to zero over Tyler Legacy, and uh, oh, 
Now, I may double check this one, but the final in Longview is 13 to 7. I don't think we have a final. I haven't updated that of a game on that SCN, Vince. It's gotten closer. We've got a well, – actually, we got – I've got Rusk 35-28. I need to check that. Oh, yeah, we got to check that one. That – because – a while ago, we were we were keeping an eye on this game. Yeah. And that's, yeah, Van 35, Russ 3. I don't know. I think that must have been a uh, typo typo there. Cause also, I, was, I got uh, Harmony got? Uh, 52 to 14 over Elysian Fields right now. And a kickoff return and a nice coverage there. They tackled Pierce and wrapped him up. That was number 19. And if you were wondering. Boyd. Uh, yeah. Chapel Hill is up right now, 49 to 22. Okay. Another one of our games on Nettis in tonight. Kilgore still up over Lindale, 35 21 in the mm -hmm. third quarter. Nacogdoches taking care of business right now in the fourth, 30 to 0 over Hallsville. Mm. They're mad after last week. Yeah. Looks like Liberty Allo is up 21 to 14 over Spring Hill. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a penalty here, Vince. Uh-oh. Holding. Well, I can hear them fans. They're not happy. Yeah, Grinsling's not liking it. It's going to be a – wow, they're still marking it up. They've got it marked now at the – wait. I don't think they even know where it's going. Now it's backed up a little bit. <laughs> so now it's at the 37-yard line. First and 10. Vince, there's a game on tomorrow at 11 o'clock Central Time. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm going to be. I know I'm going to be in front of that TV watching Oh, it. absolutely. Absolutely. I hope it's not close like this one. I hope nah, at least one-sided for a certain I, way. I listen, I, I usually root for good games, but, but not that one. <laughs> no, no, no. I need domination. So, looks like Smith with a keeper got up to about the 40. And there's a flag. I think the signal was holding. We'll see. We'll get the official call from the official here. And for those who wonder what we're talking about, obviously. No, a legal shift, uh, Vince, actually. Mm -hmm. so We're talking about Texas Longhorns. The other, uh, and the other team across the border that doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, that, that other team. Yeah. You know, we don't. We won't talk about them much. Hopefully, one of our medicine colleagues, uh, Keith's not listening. He's a yeah. he's a fan of that no, other it, team. It, now, if you are listening, you are you you do love OU or whatever. You know, it's cool. It's I'm, okay. I'm, it's all right. I still love it. It's all right. We got Tina Smith from New Orleans. Okay. Go Arp Tigers, class of '87. And Smith back to pass. Oh, oh, he's got Burke wide open. Oh, wow. Cut. Zane Burke. Slips a tackle and couldn't get by that one. Is down inside the 20. <laughs> wow. That wow. guy is everywhere. You know, and, and again, as impressive, and impressive as he is, Butterfield has – that nobody has outran him yet. <laughs> he has – that's his third touchdown. That's why he's back tackle. here. Here's Bork. Got two steps on his defender, but – Nit Butterfield didn't Butterfield give up on like, it. No, I'm, nah, you're not leaving me. So here we go. First and 10, Arp from the 20 yard line of Grand Saline. Smith fakes it. Oh, Bork. Oh, I think Ooh. they miscommunicated there. I didn't look. They looked off. And uh, Bork kind of slipped. Kind of hmm. coming up a little gimpy there. Yeah, limping a little bit. He's going to need an ice bath. Tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, he deserves it. I mean, yeah. he's been working. He need a paycheck for the way he played tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his parents will take him out to eat tomorrow or something. Yeah. Pretty good baseball player, too. So, yeah, athlete. Mm hmm. So, second down and 10. Smith. Handoff up the middle. Going to be Reed for a couple. It looks like he was uh, brought down by number four, Pablo Jimin mm. Jimenez. Yeah, Jimenez. Jimenez. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It, yeah, Jimenez. 
I'm gonna have to work on these names. <laughs> hey, we we when we go to the Brook Hill ones, that's when we struggle. Though. We do. We struggle a lot with the Brook Hill game. Smith rolls out to his right. Run pass option. He's gonna oh. try to run. Finds a little crease. Oh. Spins off a tackle, and crushed Hopefully. by a couple of Indians. Yeah. Looks like that was um, Colt Boyd with the tackle on that one, but. He was, he was crushed by a tribe of Indians. <laughs> Let's go with that one. So fourth down right here now, Vince, and about two. And as you can see, all right. Let's see what they're going to do. They're, like, they're, they're going to bring in, yeah. is that Yarbrough? Yarbrough's in the game. He, he's, they like him on short yardage. Uh, I don't know if he's in there. And it just goes to show you how important this game is. That's just you no know, Yarbrough's out wide here. He's going to be in, in motion. They're going to keep to Smith. Oh, breaks a couple breaks of tackles. Still going down. inside the five. They're just grabbing onto his shoelaces at this point. Yeah, Vince. just trying to hang on. Smith out there spinning like a wild bull. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that one. They're just hanging on. For dear life. Clock rolling under four and a half minutes to go here in the third. And Smith looking to punch this home. He's still alone in the backfield here as Yarbrough comes in motion. Yarbrough, handoff, touchdown, touchdown. Tigers. KJ Yarbrough with a four yard touchdown run. So that's going to put Arp up. Again, by that number they've been, <laughs> been been 11 and, and then 12 here after the point after by one after Ty, another. Ty yeah. Barsley. Since we got Ty on the field, I'd like to um, got some uh, special thing I want to talk about him when we get to the kickoff here in a minute. As he tacks on the extra point, and our score. Here in Grand Saline is Arp 39, Grand Saline 27. We'll be right back here on NetSN. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Back here on NetSN, Brett Sweeney alongside me is Vincent Johnson. And, and Vince, I have a, a nugget to drop on Mr. Barsley. Okay, what um, you got? So I've known this young man. Uh, since I was an AYSA board member over there, the soccer league, and he pretty good okay. little soccer player growing up. Um, he also can run. Uh, he's a cross country runner, and he placed second in district 163A meet yesterday oh, wow. to qualify for regionals for the third straight year in a row. Third straight. Mm. So shout to Mr. Barsley. Also went seven of seven on PATs last week. Okay. He has a field goal tonight as well. So. Man, well, kickers kids. don't get much love. We got to give them some love sometimes. Man, They're you important. Know what? It's crazy that these kids are just so super talented right now. Like, so Barsley's kick fielded. That's number three. Prox on the return. He tackled you know, around the forty-yard line. Growing up, it felt like it was rare when you saw a kid who was who had who played multiple st sports and was mm -hmm. good in all of them. You know. It you it happened, but it wasn't that many. And now, like I'm watching these games, and it seems like every team has two or three of them like that. Mm -hmm. Well, not only are they doing that, they're playing both sides of the ball in Absolutely. this game. Yeah. So that's like two different positions you have to learn and yeah. practice. Mm -hmm. So Grant Celine now has the ball as we have this back and forth affair here tonight. It's their turn to answer. Taylor. Going to hand off to Butterfield this time, and he's not going anywhere. 
he was wrapped he, up. He is, but I, I will say this. He's about one block away from going 60 yeah. yards. Yep. A tackle, a tackle was made, Vince, by number 44, Jackson Schminke. Name sounds familiar. Mm. He, may be, he may be related <laughs> to that Schminke guy over there on the sideline. He's only a sophomore as well. Okay. He, he actually uh, he played, coming up big. played a little basketball last year as a freshman. I got to, uh, and Corey got to call a few ARP games over there. Okay. So, little schmink dog on the tackle. So, Taylor in the gun by himself. Here comes Butterfield in motion. Fakes to him, looking for Prox. Oh, Caught. Got him. And Prox with a first down catch to the ARP Tiger 45 yard line. Prox coming up big for Grand Slam. Big for the Indians. Wow. You know, it makes me wonder why they didn't start out passing. I don't know. They are, they're going to get to a point really, yeah, where they're really going to have efficient. to here a little bit. Yeah. And just they, They've been really efficient in the past, but they started out just run, 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 and it wasn't really helping them any. But. So here we go. Taylor. Full man in motion. Can do a little option here, and his Ooh. option was taken away. Mm. Great play there by the Tigers, number three, Fisher Arrington. Man, it was like he was in the huddle with him. Yeah. He's not used to pitching that ball. That's the second time he held on to it. He should have he should have pissed it yeah, right away. You gotta get away. You gotta get it away. So that's gonna be a loss on the play of four. Bring up second down and fourteen. I'd like to give a shout too to Grand Saline facilities here. These are pretty nice facilities here at Grand Saline. I like it. It's a nice, nice little complex here. Been very, uh, ho very good host here. We appreciate Edison. Appreciates you, Grand Saline. Steps up in the pocket. And Taylor's brought down. That's your man again, Vince. Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. I'm gonna try it again. <sighs> No, that's not. Oh, I thought that was uh, my no. other guy. No, no, no. no. That's that's uh, Brian Lane. Yep. He's been all over the place tonight. Lane has. And that's going to bring up third down and a long way. Make that. It's going to be 18. Woo. I mean. Grant Saline's going to think this one over. This is a big possession right here. You don't want to yeah. really give the ball back to the Tigers no, who have been hot. You, so. you don't. You definitely don't want to do that now. So this timeout will take it with them. So with a minute 30 left here in the third quarter of play, Arp leads Grand Saline 39-27 right here on NetSN. Big Mike's Billiards, proud sponsor of NetSN. With 25 years experience in the pool table moving and service industry, Big Mike strives to ensure complete satisfaction. The quality and care he and his team put into every move and every service call is the highest standard of service in the industry. Big Mike sells and services some of the best pool tables available today. He is an expert at caring for and moving any type of billiard table, whether it is across the room or across the country. At Big Mike's Billiards, no pool table repair job is too big or too small. Whether your table needs new cushions, felt, or to be professionally aligned and leveled, Big Mike is the guy to trust. Call Big Mike's today at 903-842-4499. Here we go. Third and 18. Big play here for Grant Saline. Taylor in the gun. Back to pass. Up the middle. Caught. Oh. And it's going to pick up the first down. Wow. Again. They pass didn't. caught by number two. Blaine Thompson. They've been so good in the passing game. Like, I uh, I hate to say abandon the run, but, man, at this point, it's, it's, it's not work. helping. It's working the, right now. The, the pass, pass is working. That's what's working. So, let's. Well, run's what kind of got them behind the sticks there on that. Absolutely. So, so, here we go. Taylor in the gun. Fakes the handoff. He keeps it. And nice tackle there. By the Tigers. Looks like you got about two or three yards on that one. Wyatt Hurst on the tackle. So they went back to the 
run again, Vince. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I to me, I, you got to make those adjustments. And I know it does open up things for you in the passing game as well and, and vice versa, but it just ain't it ain't giving you a lot. And yeah. it's honestly, it's the reason you're behind mm-hmm. in this game. Because if you start like that, you're just going back and forth with And the interesting thing, neither one of these teams really have a hurry-up offense. They kind of take their time. Mm-hmm. The second down and nine. Keep for Taylor. Oh. Fakes it up the middle. Bounces it outside to the left here. A nice run. I mean, mm. Ooh, he put on that the brakes nice. there. Yeah, just he just paused for a second and then cut to the left. Yeah, let's look at that again. I want to see the brakes on this because he, he may look like he stops here on this replay. I mean, Taylor's going to just whoop. Okay, it's kind of more of a little bit of a juke there. Yeah, but. Yeah. Nice run just, there. Nonetheless, to end the third quarter of play. He turned on the Jets. Our score after three, ARP 39, Grand Saline 27. We've got a good one here in Grand Saline. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on NetSN. Stay here. Back here in the fourth quarter here as the handoff goes to Butterfield around right in. And he's fighting for yards, flung out of bounds there by the Tigers, number 11, Julian Marcio. So first down there for Grand Saline as they continue to drive here. So now it's uh, four plays from here, Vince. His first and goal from the 10. What are you drawing up? Put your coaching hat on. Man, you, a lot of your successful passes have been deep, so. You keep the ball in hands of Taylor? Yeah, I would, honestly. I'd right up the middle. Taylor, keep on the outside, oh, around oh, in. Look at that. Nobody hardly touched him. He clipped as he jumps into the end zone for the Grand Sling touchdown. <laughs> Indians back on the board again. So, Grand Saline now down six. It'll be 39-33. And at this point, the spread, you just keep going for one. You don't want to try to chase points at this point. It's not going to help you going for two, so they'll just line Reyes up. Go give him a chance for an extra point here. A little bit of high snap, good hold. Reyes' kick is up, and it's good. 11.51 left here in the game in Grand Saline. We have Arp still leads, but it's shrinking 39-34 over Grand Saline. We'll be right back here on NetSN. That touchdown was sponsored by Precision Scanning Services. Precision Scanning Services specialize in EMI inspection and hydro testing in the oil field industry. Give them a call today at 432-269-8544. Have you sustained a bone joint work or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Back here on NetSN, we're at Swinney alongside me, Vincent Johnson. And uh, Vince, we've had a good one here tonight. We have. 
a lot of offense. Uh, you know, no defense really. Uh, not since the first quarter, I'll yeah. say. <laughs> it, they, once the offensive guys, are they settled in? Yeah, once they got their rhythms, you know, they it just it's been an offensive battle. Yep. I mean the, I mean honestly, we talked a little bit about this earlier, but the defensive play was the difference maker. Yeah, it was. The strip fumble by Arp earlier in the game that led to an eight eight points. They got the mm -hmm. touchdown, and the two point conversion. Kind of difference here. A little gamesmanship here on the kick as Reyes moves the ball over to their side. I don't think it's time to go onside kick at this point. No, not yet. I think you still have to kick it deep and you got it's still plenty, plenty of time. time. We yeah. got a whole quarter left to yeah. play here. I don't know if I do kick it deep. I wouldn't. They didn't kick deep. Kick it right in the middle of the where there's nobody. Yeah. Right in that center. Let it drop right there. And they're going to kick it deep. Mm. It's going to be fielded by Pierce. He makes a couple of juke moves and then gets stuck by a bunch of black jerseys there around the 35-yard line. So first and 10 ARP from the 35. Pretty good field position for the ARP Tigers here. Yeah. Well, it's kind of got quiet in the chat. Uh, keep chatting with us here. We're still asking for you to like our video tonight. If you're watching, give us a like. We've got... A lot of folks watching that haven't liked our video yet, so give us a like and uh, help us out here. Also, give your player a shout out. Tell us who you're watching, where you're watching from, what school you're going for. Uh, we love to see that stuff in the chat. We'll, we'll talk about it on air, and we love to interact with our with our viewers. As Smith oh, tends off to oh. Reed around the right side, he's going to pick up almost enough for the first. Going to be close there. Marked out of about the... 43-yard line of the Tigers. So, looks like a, maybe a good gain of about seven. It's going to bring up second down and three. Reed's had a good night. He has. I mean, we talked about it earlier, you know, being his first start at tailback last week, but it doesn't look like it. He's mm -mm. He's been a, a difference maker there in the backfield. And that, obviously, that's probably why they switched him. Get him, get him more touches. Hand off mm -hmm. up the middle. That's going to be... Number five, Reed again. Yep. So another carry. He'll pick up the first down and move the chains. I'd imagine the Tigers aren't going to get in too big a hurry here at this point. Just try to keep the drive moving to move the sticks. Yeah, you don't have to do nothing crazy. You just want to keep the keep the ball moving, run this clock. Don't make any mistakes. Frank Hold Smith. Hold football. And he's stuffed. He's, they're going to give him a gain of two. Nice job there by the Grand Saline defense to swarm the quarterback there. Yeah. So got some big guys out there. It looks like that was number 64. I could be wrong, but I think that was 64. Uh, Trenton Green. So we got uh, Rhonda King. Go Arp Tigers. My daughter... It's in the marching band. Okay. Hope you enjoyed tonight's band performance. If you missed it or had, didn't get to watch it or you want to go back and watch it, this game will be on YouTube forever. So it'll be there. You can go back and watch the halftime band performance. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that tonight. Smith. Uh-oh. Looking uh -oh. for his man. Oh, it's oh, intercepted by Prox. It's intended. Oh. That was a pass intended for Wade. That pass looked a little funny, Vince. When he released it, it. Yeah, it looked like a, you know, we call it a duck. Let's, let's, <laughs> let, just, let's take a look at this replay here. In the air. As Smith kind of looked like a sidearm delivery almost, like a kind of up and under and is wobbly and behind Wade and Prox just stepped it in front. It didn't look like nobody got a piece of it, though. And we just talked about defense. Whoever was going to make the mistake. Yeah, whoever made the stop. So there's a yeah. stop for Grand Celine. We'll see. Grand Celine, I take this momentum and I run with it. I mean, we... We snapped that ball. We passed. We're going down the field passing. There we go. Taylor, the option. And he keeps. And not going to get, but maybe a yard. Brought down by a few Tigers there, led by number 11, Julian Baricio. That's, you know, you're going to say it, Vince. He, didn't, he did it again, didn't he? Yeah, he, he, he just don't want to. He want to hold on to it. And, and you know maybe 
maybe that's just the way they draw it up. It looks like it's supposed to be pitched, but you know, obviously the plan is for him to just take it and go upfield with it. Because I'm starting to wonder why the the uh, the tailback doesn't actually try to get upfield. Well, the, def the defense aren't, isn't it. playing the tailback. I think if they pitch nah. it, he'd be open. Yeah, he would. And he keeps Ooh. again oh. and tackled behind the line Ooh. of scrimmage by number thirteen Woodward. Nehemiah Woodward. So he kept it again, Vince, and try to go back the other way, and, and some, again, that either works or it doesn't. Usually, it doesn't. And and again, my thing is the run isn't really there like you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I'm taking that momentum, and we're passing because the passing is what works, you know, for the, for them. So, um, they're they're I could tell their offense is heavy in the run. It just isn't really paying off as way they as much as they would want. Here we to go. Tonight. Third down and 12. Taylor back to pass. Got pressure. Come up the middle. He's able okay, to avoid okay. to his right. He's, he's signaling to his to receivers. Go. He's going to run it here. And he's taken out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. So it's going to be fourth down now, Vince. Looks like maybe six. You got to go for this. I mean, I mean, it's there's eight go. minutes to go. You haven't stopped Art many times tonight. No. We'll see here if they, the play clock running down. See if they. And I'm telling the offensive here. line, give him time. Or is he? He needs four to five seconds. Give him some time. Run or pass? Pass. Okay, here nah, we go. I can't, mm -mm, can't do that run right now. Here we go. It's Taylor Butterfield behind him. Fourth down and six. Big play. Little play fake. Got it over to his man and caught. He threw it short and it still paid off. Pass complete to number 19. Oh, that's uh, Boyd. Boyd again, and yeah. he, another big play for Boyd. Yeah, he, he made that happen. Shout out to Boyd for that, because that pass was short. This play for Boyd here, as we look back at that replay on that fourth and six, and it was a tough catch and picked up the first down. We go live here, first and 10. Handoff to Butterfield and tackle after a gain of maybe one there. That was number 44. Jackson Schminky. Little Schminky right there on the tackle. He doesn't look too little to me though. He looks nah, like he looks like big Schminky. <laughs> he might be bigger than his dad. His dad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he must have him in the weight room doing powerlifting. Oh, yeah. So second down and nine. As we got some more comments here, we'll we'll, we'll give him a shout out here right after this play. As a big play here for Taylor and the Indians. Going to keep up the middle again. They like that play. The hole was there for a second, but the Tigers yeah. filled it pretty quickly. You know, you at some point, the reason it works is because you got to fool them, right? Uh -huh. Every time they line up like that, he just keeps it. So you got to throw it at some point. Yep. We got Sherry Blanton watching the entire Tiger team and my daughter in the band. Thanks for okay. watching. We got Maurice Martin watching Frank and Josh Smith. Go Tigers. Okay. Well, if you're watching Frank, he's had a great game. Oh, yeah, he balling. And Josh has as well. He's been he caught a few passes and re returned a few uh, kickoffs. So here we go. Third down and six. Ball spotted at the 28. It's going to be Taylor. Not much room. Mm. But he's still going to end up picking up about three about yards. Three yards on that, but here you are again with another four, fourth down. Fourth down and three here, Vince. Well, actually, they're maybe more like four, but they marked it. So fourth down and four. Go. <laughs> hey, your money guy has been uh, has been Mr. Boyd. Yeah. On big plays, I wonder if they'll see him here. You got Prox out to a Prox far is out side. there by itself. You got Thompson down here on the near side, and Boyd's in motion. Here we go. Play fake. They're looking for Boyd. Oh, and oh no. Mm. He was there. 
And he knows he missed it. He sat there for a minute. He knows he missed that. Oh, in and out of the hands. That was Trevor Green on the on the oh, that, that was, was that Green. wasn't Boyd. That wasn't even Boyd. Let's yeah. check this out. Boyd was it Green was the, the near side tight end. Boyd was actually he did a little motion here. He comes in motion on this uh right here. Green's on he's he's lined up. On, that, on the right tackle. He just goes out for the pass. That's who it went to. And, oh, he might have scored there, Vince, if he catches mm. that. He might have looked ahead. But think about it. If you do that on first down, you know what I'm saying, instead of just. Yeah, still waiting. So, Frank Smith leads the Art Tigers back out on the field. He's going to hand it off to Reed up the middle, and he's going to get maybe a yard on first down. I think they're going to they're give him two. It's generous, two. Yeah. And, and. Grinsling's defense, they're, they're starting to pick up a little bit. They, they're they starting to pick, pick up on that uh, that uh, read. So, when do you go for Bork again on some kind of – Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Man, I know yeah. they're trying to run the clock out, but – If I get, if I get, get to too conservative? Down, if I get to third down, I'm, I'm going to go to Bork. Okay. So, here we go. Second down and eight. Ball spotted – believe around the 32 and looks like arp's gonna take a timeout we'll take it with him 501 on the clock 501 left vince we've got a good one here in grand saline arp leads 39 34 with the ball here going down to the wire here on net sn we'll be right back texas ox home and construction Local builder in the Bullard, Flint, White House, Chapel Hill area. Building custom homes, specialized homes, and investment properties. Feel free to reach out and get started today at 903-216-8655 or send them an email at texoxhomes at gmail.com. Back here on Dennis in as we got a big second down and eight here for the Arp Tigers as they have the lead here in the fourth, looking to put some distance between them. Grand Sling, Frank Smith keeps it, bounces it out to the left side, breaks a tackle. Smith, and it's a race. Can they catch him? 30, 20, Look stiff arm field. inside the five. Frank Smith with a huge run. I need to know how fast Butterfield is. Cause that's the fourth time he saved a, a touchdown. Man, yeah. let's let's take a look at this. As Smith, he had it. <laughs> he goes inside Vince, and then he bounces it outside as he sees some blocks. His receiver outside blocks well, and just releases and didn't hold. And then he's just off to the races. And again, it is your man Butterfield, Butterfield has saved a couple of touchdowns today. I he need, never gives up. We need to clock him in the forty. Whew. That's four two speed. Got to be. So, Gotta be. so Arp down inside the red zone area here at the five-yard line. Now, they've been this close before, and they weren't able to punch it in at the end of the half. So no gimmies here as Grand Celine looks to try to stuff it. Smith fakes a couple and of tackles, and he's going to get into the end oh. zone. Ball comes out, but he yeah, had crossed the plane. In. He's in. Touchdown, Tigers. What a drive for the Tigers there, Vince. Yeah. They got... They gave the ball to Grand Saline, then they made the stop and immediately answered for the yeah. touchdown. Got some and, scores and for me. Anybody? Yes, I, I'm sorry, I do. I got I got some scores for you. So you I got, got a final here. Brook Hill 27, uh, Grace Prep 7. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, Kilgore 64, Lindell 29. Oof. Yeah. Uh, As the Bar Barsley PAT is good there on the uh, extra point. I have Harmony with a final of 58 to 14 over Elysian Fields. I'm interested in that uh, in that White House score. Finn, see if you oh. can find that White House score. Earlier, uh, Pine Tree was that ahead was earlier. Updated, but let me find it for you. Here. Let's see if we can get a. So, 
We've got, still got four minutes and 33 seconds left, so the game is not over by any stretch of the imagination. We've had some crazy things that have happened tonight. So, uh, got that White House score for you. Okay. Right now it is 47 to 35 White House. Okay. Pine Tree's keeping up, but I think this might be over. It's have in we, the fourth quarter, hey, uh, so it's late. Cameron, Cameron McDonald here in our chat has got us a score. Troop 45 to 21 final. Mm. So they took care of Edgewood tonight. Barsley set to kick off. To Grand Salino. Again, it'll be Prox and Butter. Actually, they've moved Prox up. Kind of sneakily moved him up here to this second line. We'll see if Arv notices there, Vince, as they've they've shifted him up here. He's got the peak oh, towel. Yeah. Kind of being that the sneaky gamesmanship <laughs> there. And they don't kick towards him. And Butterfield's oh. got it. And he okay, kind of fumbles it and picks it up. Here he goes. He's got really nowhere to go. Nah. And he's going to cross the 25. He's going to get to about the 27 or 28 yard line on the return. So that's where Grand Saline will start this drive. Anything else good for me? Uh, Mount Pleasant, 17 to 7 over Marshall. Wow. That would be one that we didn't see. We talked about Mount Pleasant maybe having a mm -hmm. chance for a playoff spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They beat Marshall. Man, that's going to shake up that district. Yeah. And then also I got uh, Sabine, 37 to 32 over Atlanta. Ooh. Sabine's having a good year. Yeah, they are. So here we go. Taylor in the gun. Looking D. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. In and out of the hands of the Arp Tigers. Ooh. That was number three on the almost interception. Fisher Arrington. Man, it, he's going to want that back. He was, he was going to probably score on that if he intercepts yeah, that he ball. Yeah, catch that. That's a touchdown. Got a cheer for Frank. So John Jr. New Orleans, go Frank and Josh. So we got, we still got some people sending in the chats. Keep those likes going. We got 20. We wanted 50. Let's see if we can get them before the end of this game. Give us some likes. Please. Everyone watching, we, lo we love you. L like our videos. As Taylor's looking for some help, he just spins around in a circle. He's got a man open. Pick. Picked off, though, by Pierce as it's underthrown. Pierce at the 50, taken down. At just around that spot. And a big play on defense by Cornelius Pierce. I don't like to call games early, but that right so there. So there it is. As, uh, as, as Taylor was, see. he was pushed. He was scrambling. He had a man open, just under through him, and Pierce cut the route perfectly and pretty much is going to try to ice the game for the Tigers yeah. there. The way, the way Arpa's running the football, I mean, there's no need to pass anymore. Aaron and Lloyd Smith watching Frank and Josh. Proud aunt and uncle. Yeah, I would okay. be. They, they got a lot of fans. They the Smiths, they travel, man. They got them all over the place. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank you guys for watching. As the aforementioned Frank Smith in to try to finish this game off as he's in the gun with two backs. It's gonna hand the ball off to Yarbrough. Oh, wait. And then Grant Sleen has the ball. I he don't is. know what happened there. As I don't know either. Let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look and see what happened, Vince, because I didn't. Because somehow, somehow, Grand Celine thought they had the ball here. Just a simple handoff to Yarbrough, and did he just strip it while he was going down? Looks like that's what happened. Yeah. But he must, I think he was already down. They're going to give Arp the ball. Be a gain of two, and it'll be second down and eight. Got any more scores while we're sitting here, Vince? Uh, let's see what else. Something that wasn't updated yet, but I can find something for you. Uh, right now, I got Brownsboro over Bullard, 34 to 21. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That would be an upset in some people's minds. Uh, Henderson is up over Athens right now, 27 to 30. I'm sorry, 23. 27 to 23. Oh. Okay. Um, Nack is up 30 to 0. Nakadocha's doing good. Um, Frankston is up 49 to 18 over Big Sandy. 
Bryson's looking pretty strong this season. Yeah, they are. Yes. Did we talk about? Well, that game ain't even updated yet. We'll we'll find the updated uh, score for the Troop Edgewood game. Um, oh, I had that one on the chat. Someone said that as we go. Oh yeah, it was the one that they, okay. Second and eight is Frank Smith just goes up the middle and he's gonna pick up the first down himself. I think that was a. Uh, we had that one a while ago, Vince. Um, it was forty-two to twenty-one, I believe. Yeah. Oh, 45 21 troop final. I don't know what the quarter is, but I got Tyler High 20, Lancaster 34. Hmm. Tyler High again, they've just they got down. It was 20 to 7 early. Yeah. They just struggled to they, get started. That's their problem. Maybe they should just not they should start out and hey, we'll take 0 0 first half and just play the second half. They would mm -hmm. be be very good this season. It's hard to get down to a, a bad start. Like a win. bad lawnmower. You know, you just <laughs> Yanking, 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 nothing. And then finally, when it gets <laughs> when it going. Cranks. <laughs> I like that analogy. I like yeah. that. So, first and 10. Smith going to keep it himself again. Ooh. And he's like met he got stood up. immediately by number 15, Gavin Rodriguez. Clock continues to roll here. Three minutes to go. And this one's been a good one here in Grand Saline. It has. Let's, let's take a look and see. What that's going to do to our district standings, Vince, and, and we kind of talked about this one um, in the pregame. There was th there was four teams at one and one, uh -huh. and obviously Arp was one of those teams, and Grand Saline here. Yeah. Arp's going to go to they're going to go to two and one here, and they're going to have to to host Troop next week. That's going to mm, be an Arp Troop. I think that might be a pick'em game. Spoiler, <laughs> as Smith. Oh. Uh, the only thing that's tackled Smith tonight, the, the grass, the grass, the <laughs> the grass, grass. stripped him. The that grass monster got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Grand Saline's going to take a timeout. And so they'll go and they'll have troop next week. Grand mm -hmm. Saline, on the other hand, um, <laughs> they're not getting any easier. They're going to West Rusk next wow. week. Mm -hmm. So both these teams are going into the top two teams in the district play right now. Um, I'm interested to know what the West Rusk score is because West Rusk tonight played Winona. See if we can find that one, because that'll be uh, Winona. I would think West Rusk will be would be winning, but um, you never know. So, on Arp's schedule left, you've got Troop, you've got Quitman and Edgewood. I mean, two of those three, they're they're looking to win. Um, obviously, they love to beat Troop. I got so, oh, I got a final West Rusk fifty-five Winona seven. Okay, so West Rusk. They're going to go to 2 and 0. Troops 2 and 0. So Arp is now alone if that if I if I calculate that correctly. Winona takes the loss, Edgewood takes the loss, Grand Saline takes the loss. Mm -hmm. So Arp's in third place by themselves. So yeah. This is a big win right here. It is. And we talked about this before the game. You want to you want to get third. You don't want to get fourth because fourth no. is probably going to get hooks first round. <laughs> and we know how good hooks is. We don't want hooks. Nobody wants hooks. So Smith keeps it. Tries to bounce oh, it outside. He's, he's, he's got a little going, room. He's still, going. he's still bouncing it outside. Tripped up finally at around the 25-yard line first down. And Smith has just done it all tonight. He's connected with Bork. He's ran the ball. He's handed off to Reed. He's probably selling popcorn over there. I don't know. <laughs> Tim Parker on on the uh, chat. Vince? Okay. Said, good job, boys. It's good to see you're doing well. We appreciate it, Tim. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, man. It's good to hear from you. Tell, tell old Dustin we said hello. <laughs> Smith up the middle. Drug down at about the 20. So pick up about five on the play. There's a clock just rolling, rolling. Down under a minute and a half to go in the game. It's uh, next week. I'm traveling to Dallas next week. I'm going to follow Ooh. the Brook Hill guard to Dallas. Me and Rob are making the trek. We're going to be 
Going to Dallas Covenant to see the Brook Hill Guard. Good luck. Uh, open, district, open district play in taps. Um, you got the week off next week, so enjoy the week off. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. Um, our other crew will be over in Lindale, um, Chapel Hill Lindale game. And Smith up the middle. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do around Our the house, center so. guys will be co co covering the Van Center game next week. So that game will be on then. Listen, sense. So that that's going to be a good one. Be a good one. I had an argument with somebody earlier about that one. I think Van is – center is good. I think Van is um, – That's a battle for second. I mean – Yeah, Van, nobody's talking about him. You know, I don't even want to call him sneaky good because they, they just – just nobody's giving him no press. Yep. So clock ticking. There's going to be one more snap here, and that's going to do it. They're going to let the clock run down. and um, Yeah, so that's where we'll be next week. Again, yeah. Tuesday, um, I'll be in there's some volleyball action at Brook Hill. Also, if you like to hear East Texas football talk, make sure you tune in. We have two shows every week. We have a live show Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. We wrap up this week's games. We'll talk about the pick -ums. How bad we did, how good we did, we'll brag. You know, we'll have yeah. our polls. We'll release the polls for this next week. Um, also, uh, every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., our our Beast from the East show, we'll talk about next week's games. We'll, we'll pick the games, and we'll talk about the different matchups, the best games around the area. So if you like listening to that kind of stuff, I know the ARP fans out there will be talking ARP Troop next week. Mm -hmm. I know we will. It'll be a discussion. Um, so... Um, if you love that kind of stuff, make sure you tune in and, and check us out. Uh, we have an app. If you didn't see our app commercial, go to our, the app stores of your favorite devices, Android and Apple, NetSN. We've got scores. We've got games. We've got podcasts. We've got polls. We've got pick we got everything. we got everything. Wait, what, did we miss anything? And, and how much does it cost, Vince? Nothing. It's free, just like this broadcast. I hope everyone enjoyed tonight's broadcast. Vince, some final thoughts on tonight. Uh... No need to hang your head. Both teams play well. Um, the things you just gotta focus. Well, if you're you're Grand Saline, focus on next week. That's a big game coming. Uh, you gotta get that win. For Art, Art, great game tonight. You needed it. You got it. But you still got another big game coming. You gotta get that one too. So rivalry um, game at that too. Yeah, yeah. You yes. don't want to lose that one, even no. if you don't have to have it. Even if you, you don't have to you, have it, you, you want don't it. Lose that one. No, not at all. So. That's that's pretty much it. You know, I, I I hate you know, here's the thing. Both teams play well. I hate that, you know, we we get to this point where one wins, one lose. That's just that's the nature of it. Somebody gotta win, somebody gotta lose. So but again, both teams they played very well. Uh I wish I could have seen a little bit more defense, but the defense when it did pop up and do some things, man, that kind of turned the game around. Hey, we got some chats finishing up here. Uh Frank Smith, MVP Heisman Trophy winner. Wouldn't argue with that for the night. He had a great game. Uh, Sissy watching Frank and Josh in Mississippi. Awesome. Uh, great job, guys. Thank you, NetSN. Go Tigers from Jessica McDuffie. We appreciate you, Jessica. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, first time watching. You guys rock. Jonathan Griffin. We appreciate it, Jonathan. Okay. okay. We, we, try to, we try to do the best we can for you guys out there. Um, and that's going to do it for tonight's broadcast. Uh, for our cameraman, Isaiah Eights. For our man over here on the scoreboard, Jalen Lofters. Sitting next to me, Vincent Johnson. I'm Brett Swinney. Yeah. We'll catch you next time right here in Nessie in the final here in Grand Saline. ARP 46, Grand Saline 34. Y'all everybody have a safe weekend and hook them horns. Hook them.
Here at L4 Media, we talk high school football, 4A, 3A, and 2A in Texas. We talk East Texas sports. We talk NFL, guy talk, movie, and booze. We also talk wrestling and so much more. So like and subscribe and check us out. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority.